Depression Nought, Point 8, September 16, 2016. Overview This major release offers an updated look, touch support, new programs and GUI features, better wider screen viewing, and improved performance. It includes new icons, a basic compression library, FAT, file resistant resizing, improved internationalization including Russian and Turkish translations, and an Eclos One driver, reaching the milestone of supporting all existing USB controller types. All of the icons have been replaced with ones from or adapted from the Oxygen icon set. All of the desktop background wallpaper images are new. There are new default colors, making for a slightly darker theme. The login and first boot screens have had a facelift. They're now full screen windows with a new splash image. Window title bars are thicker, and checkboxes and radio buttons have been enlarged. Added a virtual keyboard keyboard program for touch screen input, which can also be clicked with the mouse. It is located in the programs area, and is started automatically in an iconified mode when touch screen hardware has been detected. The icon shows in the right corner of the top taskbar menu, and can be tapped slash click to show or hide the virtual keyboard. Added a new, basic image editor and edit program, which features zoomable viewing, color picking, freehand drawing, lines, rectangles, and squares, filled or outlined. Added a new, graphical font editor program, to replace the old command line font utility to program, that enables the viewing and editing of Visipsys proprietary bitmap font format VBF. By default, it presents a list of fonts installed in the slash system slash fonts directory. Otherwise, clicking on any font file in the file browser will load it using the font editor. Extra command line only functionality for creating, importing, and converting VBF files is still supported. Added a simple archive manager Archman program, which can open and display compressed archives supported by the compression library. This initial version is limited to extracting files. Added a system diagnostics CSTUDE program for testing memory and disks. Added Lipano Monosace fonts, replacing the XTERM font in most instances. Adapted from Liberation Mono. Improved support for Windows ICO icon format images, including XOR mapping, alpha channel translucency for 32-bit images, and masking for transparency. The mouse pointer, button images, and icons are now drawn using alpha channel blending. The window library's file list widget now attempts to use the icon itself, when choosing an icon for an icon file. Supported image types now appear as small thumbnails in their icons. The clock program has been updated so that it shows as a label in the top taskbar menu, rather than a small window at the bottom of the screen. The operating system loader now attempts to select a video mode that matches the hardware's native slash best aspect ratio, for widescreen displays. The user can overwrite this in the display settings window, or at boot time by pressing S during kernel loading, and selecting a mode from a menu. The keyboard mapping key map program has been updated to use the graphical keyboard from the window library. Editing maps now selects the appropriate character set for the keyboard language. The device's LSDEV program has been updated to use the new window tree component, rather than just displaying a flat listing of devices. Added per user window system configuration colors, sizes, fonts, etc. Added per user desktop configuration wallpaper, taskbar, icons, etc. Added a graphical keyboard widget to the window library, with dynamic size and the ability to change key maps. Used by the key map and keyboard programs. Added a pixel editor widget to the window library, allowing images to be viewed and or edited at a fine level of detail. Added a window tree component for displaying expandable slash collapsible hierarchies of items, such as files and directories. Used by the LSDEV program. Added an archive list widget to the window library. It is analogous to the file list used by the file selection dialog and the file browser, but operates on the contents of archives as implemented by the compression library. Programs can now add icon and label components to the top taskbar menu. Used by the clock and keyboard programs. Programs can now iconify so that they are minimized, and don't appear in the normal window menu, but show an icon in the taskbar menu similar to the windows tray. The mouse pointer can now be hidden for touch operation. Pressing the keyboard menu key will raise any applicable context menu for the focused component. For best performance, the kernel no longer loads a splash image during initialization. Container components can now contain an active subcomponent. Like a focus component, it should receive things like keyboard events, even if it doesn't actually have the focus subfocus or focus within a focus. 
the designation of the active component is implementation specific, depending on the type of container. The window library's file selection dialog now allows for selecting directories and requires the type file or directory to be specified at creation time. The window shell now uses the kernel's linked list to manage its collections of menu items and menu bar components. Remove the curl from get default, function font your default, in user space, and replaced it with curl from get system, not exported to user space to return the kernel's built-in basic font. Added a default small fixed width font variable to the window system, which defaults to XTERM normal, minus 10. A number of icon files have been renamed to remove the word icon. The disk manager now has the option to write a new, empty partition table, of any supported type currently do slash MBR and GPT. The disk manager can now copy disks and partitions even when there are read or write errors. This way it can be used to recover data from a failing disk. If a large read or write operation fails, after prompting the user about whether to continue, it will restart from the failure point and attempt each sector of the failed operation individually. The disk manager now has a checkbox in graphics mode to show the hide removable disks. It is unchecked by default. The disk manager now offers a way to view raw partition table data via the new disk info item in that disk menu. The disk manager now shows slices for reserved areas instead of showing all the partition spaces empty. Added fact file is system resizing capability available in the disk manager. Added a curl file get temp name function for legit temp name in user space for generating names for temporary files and directories. The kernel's file handling code now uses the CPU timestamp for recording the last access to a file directory, instead of the system timer. Added USB touch strand support in the touch strand abstraction layer, akin to but distinct from the generic mouse functionality. Added an ECLUS1 host controller driver. All four USB controller types are now supported. The kernel's linear frame buffer graphics driver can now do 15 16 bits per pixel alpha channel blending. The XHCISP3 driver is now aware of extra scratch pad buffer bits introduced in the 1.1 specification. The entire operating system is generally more internationalized and aware of appropriate character sets aka code pages and fonts to use for keyboard mappings and translation strings. Added the user key map and character set settings using the environment variables and key map and env chars eat. Added a new Russian translation and fonts and character set data for ISO 88595 Russian. Added a new Turkish translation and fonts and character set data for ISO 88599 Turkish. Added Russian and Turkish keyboard mappings. Added language specific kernel.kenv files for Russian and Turkish. Automatic key map selection map to language codes in slash system slash config slash keymap.kenv. The kernel's keyboard code will now use the character set appropriate to the language specified in the key map data. New kernel functions kernel charzy to unit and kernel charzy from unit, charz to unit and charzy from unit and user space and a configuration file slash system slash config slash charzy.kenv to map language codes to character sets. The new key map file format version 2 adds a version number, and the map values are now stored as unit. Key map files now include shift elk maps. New character set handling, c slash charzy.h, added per window and per component character set selection, and new kernel functions kernel window set char set, and kernel window component set char set, windows char set and window component set char set and user space for set of them. Implemented a compression slash decompression library, litcompros, with initial support for the deflate algorithm and GZIOP in tar file formats. Functionality is defined in C slash compress.h, C slash deflate.h, C slash GZIOP.h, and C slash tar.h. The kernel loader can now recognize slash classify tar archive files. Overhaul the font system. Version 2 of VBF font file headers have been modified to contain standardized information about the font family, style, points, charged, dimensions, etc. Kernel fonts are now dynamic and unit based and contain information about what character sets are supported by the in-memory instance. There is a new curl font get function replacing curl font load system where the caller specifies the font family, style, size, and perhaps desired character set otherwise that can be determined from the environment and receives a kernel pointer slash object key. Curl font get scans the in-memory structures for the desired qualities, character set, etc. 
and dynamically loads more from individual font files as necessary to supplement the in-memory version. That way, VBF fonts can contain smaller character sets SA02127, ISO, minus 8859X128255, etc. Added a performance timer library that thing of that can be used to measure time spent in individual functions. CC slash timer.h Integrated PPM image support courtesy of Geosip Gata next volume on the Viasipsis forum. The kernel loader can now recognize slash classify PPM images. Added scrolling to the text mode VSHCURSOR menu so that we can use it to do things like partition type selection for MSDOS labels in the disk manager has way too many choices for the current VSHCURSOR menu. The MKDIR command now accepts a P option to create parent directories recursively. Added a H halt command line option to the shutdown program, which behaves like the R boot option and shuts down and or powers off the system without prompting the user in graphics mode. The 32-bit build will now compile on a 64-bit OS. Added C slash bmp.h, C slash echo.h, and C slash jpg.h header files, which replace a lot of what was previously found in the corresponding kernel headers. Moved a number of additional definitions for both kernel and user space into system header files. These include values and strings or colors. C slash color dot h, mouse input c slash mouse dot h, user login c slash user dot h, and the GUI c slash desktop dot h and c slash window dot h. Added c slash lang dot h with a number of two letter language codes. Added the system header file c slash png dot h. Tidied up the kernel processor x86h macros and moved them to c slash processor.h for use by user space and library code such as memc, memset, crt and ord c, and the timer library. Each the 10th 86 instruction used as a macro. To the extent possible, more complex operations are composed exclusively of other macros. Also added a macro for copying data backwards. Direction flag set and processor macros are now used in the lip move function. Change the name of the LARP Sethenet driver kernel and driver to kernel network PC net driver. Implemented the STRTOL, 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 and STRTOL C library functions. The C library stat function now sets the ST mode field using the standard SF flags, and the macros for interpreting them, such as SS rig, have been added to C slash stat.h. The kernel graphic draw text function now has an optional character set parameter. Added a kernel patch mapped function for drivers such as the APIC driver to determine whether a physical address has already been mapped to virtual memory. Kernel window shell refresh now returns void. Fix the disk manager now checks for mounted partitions before doing delete all. Fix destroying a component from a still life window could cause crashes as soon as the user moved the mouse. Fix the calculator program was not correctly performing square root and factorial operations. Fix the clock program was with showing the weekday plus one and day of the month minus one incorrectly since 0.77. Fixed error messages from the Ecomin program attempting to load the existent language specific versions of config files. Fix the ext file system driver's interpretation of the inner blocks field was incorrect. Fixed echo handling of full speed USB 2.0 hubs was incorrect due to an error in the specification. Fixed the USB keyboard driver no longer assumes any particular buffer ordering of keystroke data. Fixed a small issue in the setting of endpoint context while configuring XHCI device slots. Fixed a bug in the XHCI driver in which certain class specific device requests could be confused with standard USB requests. In particular, setting keyboard light would cause keyboard devices to be erroneously reconfigured. Fixed booting from a debug build ISO image could fail. Removed the process op in perx, and process op out perx, macros from, c slash processor.h. They were only being used by the IT driver, and seemed to be causing corruption in debug mode. Fixed a bug in the kernel window focus, function wherein the focus window variable would remain set to the previous value if the new window can't focus. Fixed the kernel window set size, function wasn't working correctly unless window layout had already been done, and kernel window set visible, was called afterward. Fix the kernels to trace, function has been corrected for live tracing the current process. Fix the C library function Durning was always returning. If any appeared in the path, and crashing a folia trailing slash was present. 
fixed several subtle off by one errors in kernel patch.c that could prevent user space applications from accessing the uppermost pages in their address space the last page table version 0.77 june 16 2015 overview this maintenance release provides performance and quality improvements rather than new features improved boot time and reliability gui performance support for composite usb devices fixes to several hardware drivers and additions to the c library added proper support for composite usb devices treating each interface as a separate device at the kernel level the cpu driver no longer determines the cpu frequency using the rtc but rather using the system timer and a short countdown this shortens the boot time by one to two seconds it is now possible to drag scroll bars and sliders without keeping the mouse pointer strictly within the component or window added language specific kernel.ken files for spanish and german improve the window system graphics performance added a read or a parameter to the set data function for window components and aided a buffer flag to the window drawing parameters for components that draw into a private graphics buffer these allow for a sequence of drawing and updating operations to happen without the visible screen data needing to be updated every time improve the performance of the ps2 mouse driver it was very leggy on some systems improve the performance of the kernel's file stream code when reading or writing larger amounts of data multiple file blocks added kernel functionality for virtual keyboards a virtual keyboard device is now created by default and keystrokes can be sent to it via the new function kernel keyboard virtual input keyboard virtual input in user space in the display settings program the desktop wallpaper sample is now scaled to the screen aspect ratio and if no wallpaper is chosen the sample is filled with the desktop color the command shell no longer requires typing a space character before or after special symbols such as an ampersand the display settings program was reading the colors from the kernel configuration but calling kernel window said color would save them in the window configuration kernel window said color no longer saves the values only sets them for the current session the display settings program now loads from and saves to the window configuration fixed and standardized command line option processing for most of the included programs converted all usages of bzdro to memset bzdro just calls memset to do the work anyway remove the outdated load font program and curl and set default function as load font was the only user of that re-engineered the GUI canvas component for better drawing performance the window systems icon code that formats labels has been rewritten and will now split the text label with new leads the window canvas component will now auto fill with a custom background color if one is specified added a new kernel function kernel window set focusable windows focusable in user space for indicating that a window should never take the focus away from other windows it can still receive GUI events, but doesn't receive keystrokes or similar things by default. Make the thickness of slider bars and scroll bars configurable in the window.kenf file. Window events now contain the keyboard scan code for a keyboard event, in addition to the SEA code. Exported the kernel's graphics drawing functions to user space. Added a kernel kern and graphic copy buffer function for copying graphics buffers or portions thereof. Added kernel image fill, image fill in user space and kernel image paste image past in user space functions for filling an image with a color or pasting one image into another respectively the window shells functions for setting the desktop background image were saving the setting in the desktop configuration file they no longer do this and the wallpaper program now updates the file also worked configuration file reading in the main window system code and the window shell and reading and writing in the display settings program the USB SOAP system now adds kernel device entries for USB devices that aren't supported aren't claimed by device drivers so that the device listing is more complete. USB work updated the hub definitions to make USB version compatibility more obvious and moved them from the hub driver's header to the system USB header. Split the keyboard and mouse drivers into separate files and removed the combined head one. Improved the collection of interface and endpoint data by adding new data structures for them and grouping endpoints with their interfaces. Improved support for composite multi-interface devices by giving each interface its own bus target number and requiring drivers to claim individual interfaces instead of the whole device. Reduced the overhead of setting epistatic endpoint characteristics plus capabilities and fixed the setting of USB 2.0 hub address and port for low and full speed devices.
changed the USB drivers so that a physical device will only have its configuration set once, in the case where drivers are claiming and using multiple interfaces. Added a longer ready timeout to the USB disk driver. The XHCISP3 driver no longer disables a slash and memory decoding in PCI when detecting controllers. The kernel loader's GZIP file classification no longer requires the file to qualify as binary. It's possible to have uncompressed text blocks slash members inside the archive, which can cause the GZIP file to be considered text by the loader. Reduced reliance on the system timer, particularly in the disk drivers, in favor of the kernel call functions that measure time in milliseconds. The multitasker uses it less, and the kernel multitasker wait function now takes milliseconds instead of ticks as its argument. The iDisk driver's identified device code now uses the data structure used by the epicenter driver in kernel to driver.h, added an RTC function kernel with daytime 2 tm for converting the kernel's arbitrary RTC pack date and pack time formats to structure tm, kernel m copy, kernel m clear, kernel m set, and kernel m cmp, have been removed. We now use the C library versions instead. When locating the boot device, the kernel no longer relies on the OS loader to pass the LBA of boot sector. Identification is now based strictly on the boot sector signature. The floppy disk driver has been updated so that it won't attempt to support type 16 removable at RP slash ASP drives. Kernel function index numbers in C slash RP.H are now expressed in hexadecimal to speed up indexing by avoiding expensive division operations in kernel RP.C in favor of shifts and masks. Also, font, image, and variable list functions have been given their own categories instead of being misc. Updated the kernel's font SIP system and API to allow user space manipulation of font data. The window library's functions for making thumbnail images have been updated to allow images to be stretched to the maximum size and to fill any unfilled area with a background color. Added a C slash end.h include file for centralizing the names of standard environment variables. Implemented the C library CTIME and GMTIME functions and fixed up the behavior of other time functions so that everything is consistent with the IBE specs. Implemented the C library MKTIME function. The code for converting struct TM to time T has been taken from the time and kernel next time functions and those functions now use MKTIME. The file structure in C slash file.h now expresses file creation, accessed, and modification times as struct tm. The fill entry to file function in curl file.c was modified to use the kernel with daytime 2 tm function. The VSH library functions VSHPRINT date and VSHPRINT time functions have been modified to cope with the change. The kernel process x86h file of assembly language macros has been cleaned up and simplified and moved to c slash processor.h so that it can be used by user space and library code such as memc, memset, crt and c. Added a macro for copying data backwards direction flag set and used it in the c library move function. Updated them today in the Arial and Vinafont files. Fix the kernel's file stream code was not correctly handling streams opened in append write only mode. Fix the kernel's file stream code was not keeping track of slash setting the file size correctly. Fix the ext file system driver had a bug in its red fill functionality. When the image uses block lists and the starting block number is greater than the number of direct blocks, the driver was simply reading the first sequence of indirect blocks without regard to the starting block number. Fix the Ecusetter driver could fail to detect disk S with the error message echo port percent DBS YRDRQ set, skipping device detection, fixed incorrect status and error register writing functions in the USBONOCA driver. Fix the IT driver wasn't dealing well with individual controllers and channels operating in compatibility mode alongside others that may be native. Now, we examine each controller and channel, whether it has PCI slash O ports and interrupts, and whether it should continue to stay in compatibility mode or be switched to native. Fixed added PCI definition for class SUD class 00 francs to suppress spurious warnings about unknown SP classes. Fixed a minor memory leak in the kernel's main font loading function. Only occurred when the file to load wasn't a recognized font file. Fixed some of the kernel's graphics drawing functions, so that the OVAN drawing functionality works as documented same as drawing inside a bounding rectangle, and tuned the behavior with various parameters dimensions, thickness, fill. 
Fixed upon initial window creation, the window's graphics buffer was being created with minimum size and width, preventing larger, image-based components such as a canvas from being drawn upon before the first window layout had been completed. Fix removed the automatic USB mass storage reset during device enumeration of USB disks. Some devices, on some controllers, stop responding, and it seems unnecessary. Fix the ECLASP 2 unregister interrupt function was incorrectly unlinking interrupt queue heads. Fixed the middle and right mouse buttons were swapped for USB boot protocol mice. Fixed XHCISP3 interrupt handling to allow concurrent interrupt and non-interrupt communication between multiple endpoints. Fixed in the window library's file browser widget, some of the default icon names were wrong, not up to date. Fixed the stat. C library function has been updated to set the file times correctly, to proper Linux time. Fix the window library's windows and to dialog function, so that it won't place a window of negative coordinates off the top or left edges of the visible screen. Fixed in the disk manager, when we're sizing a partition in graphics mode, and other sliders, generally merely mousing over the slider, could cause the text field to be changed. Fixed when setting the video resolution in the display settings program, the video mode file was not having its size set correctly, and an error message file has not been opened for writing would appear on the command line. Version 0.76, December 27, 2014. Overview this maintenance release is focused on improved quality, rather, than new features. The EXT Linux file a system driver has been re- Engineered, the disk manager program has been fixed in numerous ways, and hardware drivers and SIP systems such as USP, APIC, and RTC have been tuned. Did a fairly major overhaul of the EXT file system driver, adding more adaptive feature support, plus support for extension for flexible block groups and basic support for extension for extend-based files. Also fixed a little bug in the formatting functionality setting the ext incomplete fill out flag in the superbloke. Improve the new APIC driver so that it considers the correct priority order when returning the number of the active interrupt. This fixes failures when using the virtual emulator, and some failures seen with the key emulator. The disk manager program is slowly transitioning away from the notion of cylinders, and towards showing the user units of sectors, megabytes, etc. Added the kernel function kernel q get a mess. Familiarize comp accurate time readings based on the CPU's timestamp counter better than using the system timer, in most cases. Some modern systems don't allow manual control the A20 address line, but work anyway. The OS loader will still print an error message, but it will no longer terminate booting with a fatal error in such cases. Added the extra support for multi-interface composite USB devices. Improved the ECLASP 2.0 driver and the way it manages queue heads and the periodic schedule. Interrupt queue heads for devices are no longer placed directly into the periodic schedule. Instead linked, interval-specific queue heads are used. Linked lists of queue head items are now chained correctly. All USB device drivers now check to make sure a device hasn't already been claimed by another driver. All USB transaction creators now specify timeout values as appropriate, and all of the USB host controller drivers now pay attention to those. Added kernel locking to the XHCISP 3.0 driver. Added a short delay to the XHCISP 3.0 controller driver, after setting the port reset bit, before reading it back to check for the clear. In some cases it can read clear straight away, but the reset hasn't completed yet, resulting in device detection failures. Fine-tuned the PS2 mouse and keyboard timeouts, and the USB keyboard typematic repeat timing. Exported curl file system scan for use in user space. This function asks the kernel to rescan the logical disk to determine its file system type. Useful for programs that do disk formatting. Upgraded the model used by the progress structure and threads so that the threads won't terminate prematurely until they're explicitly told the operation is completed rather than when the progress reaches 100%. Added a malloc function to the dynamic memory allocation code in order to perform integrity checking on demand. Useful for debugging memory corruption problems. Also added a kernel malloc check. Interface for use in the kernel. The USB controller drivers and the large Ethernet driver now make use of the bus device claiming feature. The kernel interrupt hook function now works with both interrupt handler functions and tasks like the multitask scheduler. Improve the layout code of the window library dialog boxes. 
got rid of the disk manager checks slash warnings about disk geometry errors when performing a partition table check. We want to reduce reliance on legacy disk geometry, and frequent mismatches meant a lot of scary looking warnings that probably didn't amount to anything anyway. In the disk manager, the code for specific disk label types ms 2 GPT, now specifies the first and last available sectors for data, and the starting and ending values for new slash moved slash resized partitions are adjusted to accommodate these. In the disk manager, pasting a partition now requires committing changes, as with format operations, erases, file as system resizes, etc. When disks or partitions are erased in a disk manager, it now checks for mounted file systems, and the kernel is now told to rescan the file system types, the same as after a format operation. The disk manager now checks for a mounted file system before deleting a partition. The disk manager no longer enables the set active button slash menu item when working with a GPT partition table. The option is meaningless for this disk label type. Reduce the memory usage of the command line find program. It was allocating too much during a deep path directory recursion. Removed unused kernel function kernel device tree get count. Removed some old functionality for building a plus version with extra features. Fixed the virtual box emulator was not cooperating with the RTC driver and the boot would fail slash crash. Fixed a double fault would occur if an exception was triggered before multitasking was enabled. Fixed alt tab only worked for activating the top menu bar if at least one window existed that is something in the windows menu. It now tries to activate the first menu but menu that has some menu items in it. Fixed it to mounting file systems from mount.kem failed if no mount point was set. The file systems program doesn't force the user to specify one. The kernel now attempts to use a default slash disk name. Fix the disk manager's data moving threads could calculate incorrect sector numbers when copying slash moving data from the start of the disk toward the end of the disk. Fixed in the disk manager, copying and pasting partitions between MSDOS disks and GPT disks wasn't working. Fix the disk manager could show an incorrect diagram with certain MSDOS logical partitions. Empty spaces were being calculated using cylinder values, which aren't necessarily set for logical partitions, by other software. Fixed in the disk manager, pasting a partition into an empty disk would plot the first track, disk label, etc. of the empty disk. Fixed in the disk manager, MSDOS extended partitions were not having their logical sizes calculated correctly parted would complain about overlapping partitions. Fixed corrected the number shown when the disk manager queries the user for partition size, when creating or resizing. Fixed in the disk manager, the horizontal sliders used for moving, resizing, and creating partitions didn't update their associated text fields when moved with keyboard presses. Fixed the VSH cursor menu was corrupting memory by attempting to set the text cursor row to a negative number when there were too many items to fit in the text area slash screen. Also added better parameter checking to the kernel x.c code. Fixed a divide by zero error in the window library's window number dialog code that would cause it to crash when the minimum and maximum values were the same. Fixed two bugs related to quite generation. The structure was not being defined as packed, and separately, the kernel quit generate function was overwriting the end of the structure by two bytes when writing the node ID. Fix the file browser program would crash when passed a relative directory name on the command line. Version 0.75, October 27, 2014, overviewed this high air focused maintenance release at USB 3.0 support, improved USB 2.0 and USB hub support, an APIC interrupt controller driver, plus several bug fixes and general quality improvements. Added USB 3xHCI support. Greatly improved USP 2 and Hub support. Added APIC interrupt controller support. Added support for detecting and parsing the Intel multiprocessor table. The USB layer code no longer sets device configurations by default. It is now left up to the individual device drivers when they determine that a given device is supported. Configuring some unknown, built in, proprietary devices can cause other devices to stop responding. USB hub removal now triggers or recurs as device removal for all downstream things connected via the hub. If a mounted removable disk such as a USB stick is removed from the system, a call to curl file system removed will now act like a forced, meant, unbuffering files and removing the file system without attempting further accesses to the physical disk. Added new functionality to count interrupt hooks and updated some 
definitions and things in the PCI driver. Physical memory addresses are now treated as unsigned integer values, instead of void pointers. Added kernel memory get error, and kernel memory release error, functions for automating the process of allocating slash releasing aligned physical memory, mapping it, and marking it from cacheable. Added a kernel debug stop, function to output a message and halt execution when errors are encountered in debug mode. Added a kernel debug remove file, function as a companion to kernel debug add file. Fixed in the computer browser when clicking to mount a CD run for the first time from a cold boot, the file browser that was launched sometimes wouldn't start in the CD ROM mount directory. Fixed in the file browser and the file dialog, the current directory field started off disabled grayed out, but changing the directory caused it to be redrawn as enabled not grayed out. Components weren't being re rendered when their set data functions were called. Fixed a bug in the USB driver SOAP system, in which a device disconnection could cause the USB threat to go into an infinite loop. Fixed increased timeout values for SCSI start unit commands to support various USB attached disks, hard disks, and CD slash DVD drives that need time to spin up. Fixed an I disk controller driver bug where an unhandled interrupt could result from selecting an existent slave drive on certain controllers. Also eliminated some redundant status polling. Fixed timing issues in the Epicetta driver related to CD slash DVD drives. Fix removed kernel or malloc. Usage in kernel debug.c which could cause debugging output not to be displayed in an interrupt context. Version 0.74, June 30th, 2014. Overview this maintenance release features enhanced internationalization, support with Spanish and German translations, per user settings, and extensive stability and performance improvements, most notably to the kernel memory, user input, disk I slash O, and GUI SOAP systems. Added per user home directories, under slash users, which are now the default current directory when the user logs in. Created a new configuration file for environment variables that are set at login time, and per user overwrite ones in home directories. Language setting is now a system-wide and per user environment variable that can be chosen at first boot and in the user management tools. Added Spanish and German translations for many of the user programs and GUI features. Added a language chooser dialog window to the window library. Part of the GUI system has been rewritten, including changing the menu implementation from a window component into a child window. GUI menus have been changed so that when the topmost menu item is selected, pressing cursor up removes the selection. The file dialog window now shows the current path the way the file browser program does. Implemented mouse and keyboard threads to process input outside of the interrupt context for improved stability. The keyboard system has been redesigned, including the use of hardware, neutral based on if scan codes and modifier flags. Added typematic key repeats for USB keyboards. Fortified the kernel's user management code and closed some security loopholes. Added a Delusa command line command as a companion to a juicer. Modified the password program so that no username argument means to assume the current user. Password length checking has been added to the user manager program. The disk caching code now does more combining of cache entries for improved performance, reducing the number of disk writes. Some of the kernel's memory management code has been reworked. All hardware drivers that use map physical memory now set the memory page attributes to disable caching. The install as an install file format for instance dist slash system slash install files. Now have a way to specify different source and destination file names. Interrupt handlers are now disallowed from allocating your free in memory or changing the page tables slash directories. Make the kernel limit load requested width and requested height. Parameters work generically for image types whose drivers don't support it. Added set data functionality to a number of the GUI components required for support of on the fly language switching separated the kernel's window shell threat from the main GUI system as a precursor to making it a user space executable and to facilitate the user settings and runtime language switching. We implemented the kernel's variable list functionality so that it uses data offsets instead of pointers to locate variables and values. This makes them easier to copy. When a child process inherits an input stream, the old text attributes are now remembered and restored when the process terminates. 
The build system now uses a command line make debug to create a debug build which doesn't strip libraries or executables. Fixed up the ctype.h functions as alpha, telewa, etc. so that they use the ISO 885915 code page we're using everywhere else instead of just basic SSD. Added a sitemv function to the C library. Added a kernel to exists function use it exists in user space. Added a new include file c slash parts.h that centralizes the definition of some of the basic file structure. Created header files c slash gpt.h and c slash usp.h and moved the relevant definitions from the disk manager and the kernel to those. Added a til slash trim whitespace script for stripping trailing whitespace from source files and whatnot. Removed the big header file of PCI vendor and device codes that we were using in debug mode. Too much of a pain to edit slash maintain. Fixed moving the PS slash 2 mouse around during hardware initialization of its driver could cause a cascade and boot failure. Fixed when there were windows on the screen, pressing Alt Tab 2 2 3 times could cause a major GUI crash. Fixed when resizing images in the view program, the window title bar didn't update with the correct zoom percentage until the window focus changed. Fixed in graphics mode, the file browser only notice directory changes when a file is added or removed, but not subdirectories. Fix the interpretation of the Linux swap list from header. Fixed support for using images inside of GUI buttons. Fix the internationalization library libbing to, to allow multiple switches of the language messages at runtime. Fix the implementation of the C library get and function so that repeated calls don't leak memory. Fixed a program with no input stream could crash if it called the kernels. Text input functions. Added checking in the input functions. Fixed improved the stability of the screenshot program. Fixed when logged into the GUI as an unprivileged user, there were a lot of error messages stating cannot release system memory block from unprivileged user process. Fixed pressing backspace at position 0, 0 would cause the edit program to crash. Fixed clicking on the kernel binary in the file browser program would cause a crash in the kernel's runtime loader. Version 0.73 January 27, 2014 Overview This is a hardware support update and bug fix release. Adding native setter and dust CD slash DVD support in the calculator program as well as numerous usability and reliability fixes. Implemented a full setter echo driver. Implemented an Atal POV USB driver for USP CD slash DVD drives. Added the Calc Calculator program written by Geosip Gata. Tails92 at gmail.com. The code that detects GPT partition tables both in the kernel and in the disk manager now checks whether the MSDOS guard table is really a guard table for more reliable GPT detection. Improved SCSI disk initialization and fixed USB mass storage error detection. Improved timing precision for right port polling timeouts and channel resets. Improved the kernel pseudo random number generation. The USP2 echo driver now handles controller level error interrupts, host system errors. Improved for matching of the CPU model string for display output in the LSDEV devices program. Added a PCI SIPCLUS for SCSI attached storage. Changed the boot menu, copy MBR and FDISK disk manager programs to preserve the disk signature field when installing a new MBR scare. This solves the problem of Windows requiring a repair after installing the basic MBR or MBR boot menu. Also removed a warning slash confirmation message about the repair thing from the boot menu program. In the computer browser, inapplicable context menu items are now grayed out, such as mount when a disk is already mounted. Window menu items are now set to the same width as their parent menu, so that they're all the same length when highlighted slash selected. In short that all GUI widgets called kernel window component destroy, if they encounter an error after using kernel window component new, and the destroy function and any allocated memory being attached to pointers in the component structure are ordered such that things can be deallocated correctly. Added driver media present functions to the disk drivers to more elegantly determine whether removable disks have media presently still fall back to attempting a read if the function is not implemented by the driver renamed the kernel disk get media state function to kernel disk media present and also renamed the kernel disk changed function 
to kernel disk media changed. Also removed file system driver get free bytes, functions that always return Lord. Added interrupt number out of range debug error messages to the kernel's interrupt code. Removed the unused driver reset function from the list of disk driver operations. Removed the unused and obsolete recalibrate function from the disk driver architecture. Fixed a special 123 gave us a corrected Spanish keyboard map. Fix modified the ASP 2.0 Ekin Setter Eka drivers so that they don't fail if PCI bus mastering can't be enabled. Fixed SCSI protocol command sizes and status packet handling for USB mass storage devices. Fixed on some systems, the NTFS code was not detecting the file system due to a debug mode stack corruption issue. Fixed when clicking on the CD-ROM icon in the computer browser, there was an error message can't mount disk on even though the CD could be mounted from the command line. Fixed ASP 2.0 Echo hot plugging of USB mass storage devices would tend to fail. The devices were being detected, but were generating communication errors. Fixed eliminated a kernel API error message coming from the ifconfig network devices program. Fixed when scrolling up and down, for example, in the default startup console, text was sometimes being drawn outside the text area boundaries. Fixed as missing a dialog box could cause the mouse pointer to disappear when the mouse was somewhere within the parent window. Fixed new and new linkers create executables with non-page aligned data segments. These were not being loaded correctly by the runtime linker. Fixed window resizing was very difficult and the correct mouse position to do so didn't really correspond with the point where the mouse cursor would change to a resize cursor. Fixed right clicking in the menu would cause the menu item to show selected. Right clicks aren't currently relevant for menu items, so now we just ignore them. Fixed if a CD-ROM is mounted, the computer browser would access it continually. Make this better, but getting the disk properties causes the kernel to check the removable media status, so it's not entirely avoidable. Fixed right-clicking anywhere in the computer browser would bring up the context menu for the selected disk. That should only happen when right-clicking on an actual item. Added a get data and semp functions to the windowlist component to return the edged keys of all the windowlist items and to let windowlist items receive right-click context menu events, respectively. Version 0.72, August 22, 2013. Overview this release consists of hardware support updates and bug fixes, with particular focus on USB. Support for USB 2 controllers and devices has been added. Added initial ASP 2 ECI support. Added a stub ASP 3XHCI driver. Implemented interrupt sharing and chaining, so that USB controllers for example can share interrupts with one another, as well as other devices such as disk controllers. Improved the output of the device's program so that it's a little bit more readable. Improved the collection and recording of the CPU vendor string. Did a bit more development of the simple echo driver. Added a kernel repos function that will wait for the specified number of seconds or a key press. Added additional error checking and debugging to the bus search system and the kernel link list functions. Added some extra PCI structure definitions needed mostly if we ever get around to doing PCI interrupt routing. Made some small improvements to PCI, comments, detection, debugging, iterating and debugging the capabilities list, etc. Added functions for interrupt handlers to get and set the current interrupt number the previous implementation failed when the interrupt number is not ensured that all is as disable interrupts whilst inside their handlers and save slash restore the flags register to changing the kernel processor is renter and kernel processor is exit macros. Added interrupt number out of range debug error messages to the kernel interrupt code. Make build configuration changes for development on newer systems like Ubuntu 11 and newer new tools like GCC 4.6 and tweaked some offloading code in the OS loader. Additional offloading changes may need to be made in the kernel. Fixed USB hug detection could happen twice, once during the controller's initial device connection detection and again when device driver detection happened for hubs. Fixed the first number one USB port didn't work on many systems. Fixed certain USB hard disks not working and or causing boot failure. Fixed the echo driver no longer fails to initialize if PCI bus mastering can't be enabled. 
Fixed Equisoft power off could cause some systems not to boot the operating system on the next attempt. Fix remove possible infinite loop condition in the real time clock driver. Fixed when the OS was installed somewhere via the native installer for example on the USB stick with the FAT32 file as system type, the volume label was not being said properly. Fixed the graphical native installer would often skip the password setting, box flashing up and then disappearing. Fixed the tap key was not working when using the USB keyboard. Fixed GCC compile errors under Ubuntu 11.10. Version 0.71, October 28, 2011. Overview The bulk of this release consists of general bug fixes and improvements to hardware detection and device drivers with particular focus on USB. New features include the ability to boot from a USB device, a new USB image is available for download and the ability to power down the system. Implemented USB booting. Added a USB blank image file and a script for installing into it. Improved detection of USB devices by always separating hot boot behavior from cold boot detection at boot time. HUSP 2.0 echo controllers are detected and disabled reset so that they don't interfere with access to the legacy HUSP 1.1 locker ports. Search all 255 possible PCI buses, not just the first 10. It's slower to search them all, but some devices have been seen to reside on for instance the 17th bus. Improved recognition of PCI device classes and SP classes. Added support for multiple buses of any type such as PCI and USB. Implemented a partial echo power management driver so that the shutdown command can power off the system. Added a kernel core module to contain the old driver detection code and some new functions for using the CPU timestamp counter. CPU timestamp frequency is now measured from within the real time clock initialization. The malloc memory management code has been changed to a best fit allocation strategy in order to reduce memory fragmentation and improve heap memory usage. In addition, the memory block list has been separated into used and free lists for faster searches. Updated GPT guides for partition types and moved the definitions and descriptions into the header file src slash include slash c slash quite dot h. The boot menu installer now shows a warning that Windows 7 and maybe Vista will require the installation CD in order to repair its boot configuration. The OS loader now passes a boot sector signature found on the boot device such as in the MBR to the kernel in order to help the kernel figure out for itself which device it should mount as the root file system. We now mark the logical disks of non-partitioned physical disks as being primary partitions. Implemented an advisory bus target claiming system so that multiple drivers won't attempt to control a device such as the iDriver trying to operate a supported set of controller in legacy mode. The kernel symbols are now read from the ELF file itself, and not from the kernel symbols.txt file, which has been obsolete. Move general 88 definitions that is, those common to PETA, SETA, etc., into a new kernel at a driver.h file. Move the get endpoint desk function into the general USB driver as kernel at get endpoint desk, and fix the get global reset timing so that it's closer to being exactly 100 ms. Added a PCI subclass for SD controllers, the kernel's linked list iteration has been changed so that it allows simultaneous read-only iteration through the list not threat safe per se, but multi-thread able. Added debug flags to the SRC slash programs maker files, improved the OS loader, so that it searches for the code and data segments in the kernel's elf executable, rather than assuming that they're the first and second segments, respectively. Kernels built under Ubuntu, for example, have additional segments. The kernel's disk management code now recycles disk numbers, so that, for example, inserting a USB stick which gets named SD0, then removing it and reinserting, doesn't result in the disk being named SD1, modified the install script to use the install files in the build area, and ignore command lines that start with hash, reformatted the output of the disk's command. The kernel's kernel page map, kernel page map to free, and kernel page unmap. Functions will now accept non-page aligned physical and virtual addresses, and adjust requests accordingly for use by the internal map, and unmap, functions. The kernel's memory allocation code now makes proper use of the BIOS memory map passed in by the OS loader. The EXT two-thirds driver can now mount file systems with variable sized inert structures. The mouse abstraction layer now has a default, simple pointer built-in, that it can draw manually into an image, in the case where the mouse pointer image files are missing. The file system resize constraints calls such as to the kernel or NTFS, 
Now pass is a progress parameter just like a real resize, so that error messages, etc. can be presented to the user. Implemented little dots of functionality, providing functions such as dlfcn.h, dlopn, dlerrr, dlsyn, and dlclose. Fixed USB endpoint enumeration no longer discards the Nortex 80 bit of the endpoint address, since some devices require it in order for the endpoint address to be unique. Fixed A number of USB sticks would fail to enumerate, because port reset timing slash logic were not technically correct. Fixed pulling a USB stick that hadn't been successfully configured by the SCSI USP code would cause the USB threat to page fault in kernel device hot plug. Fixed an ext 2 3 symbolic link was showing up as an empty icon in the file browser. Fixed fact volume label entries stored in the root directory were not being recreated when the directories were written. Fixed the kernel's GPT partition table code was not correctly reading partition table entries. It was failing to correctly calculate the buffer size and number of sectors of the entries. Fixed the disk manager program was incorrectly calculating the ending sector of entries in GPT partition tables. Fixes and improvements to the kernel's file stream functions, and to the C library FFLUSH, FREED, FWRITE, and FSEEK, functions. Fixed incorrect kernel API parameter definitions for the kernel 32 users pay CRC32, function to allow an L third parameter. Fixed the kernel CRC-32 code was not correctly calculating checksums when an initial slash carried over CRC checksum was supplied. Fixed all of the kernel loaders file detection slash classification routines now check for adequate file data length before examining various offsets in the data. Fixed the Bresnan line drawing algorithm in the kernel's frame buffer graphic drover was incorrect slash incomplete for diagonal lines going from upper left to lower right. Fixed the kernel's random number generator was outputting many more even numbers than odd numbers. Out of 1 million cores, the ratios of even odd were more than 4-1. Fixed when using the built-in system font, the code that wraps the eye context could discard a letter. Fixed printing tab characters with backslash T in print was not working. Fixed when doing a screenshot, the saving dialog could appear in the screenshot. The dialog was being created before capturing the screen data. Fixed ISOs compiled slash created under Ubuntu 10.10 did not start successfully. The system crashed during kernel initialization. Fixed some small compilation errors and an install.sh script bug when building under Ubuntu 10.4. Version 0.7, February 16, 2011. Overview This new release offers an updated look and a number of new features, including JPEG image support, image resizing, 64-bit disk support, UTF DVD file system support, and GPT partition table support, as well as lots of new icons, wallpaper images, and file browsing. Functionality. New administrative applications and functionality have been added, and the editor slash i driver has been enhanced, including the ability to better support backwards compatible SETA controllers. FPU. Context saving has been improved, and a number of tweaks and bug fixes are also included. Updated the appearance of Windows and several types of widgets. Added JPEG image format support. Added image resizing code. Added 64-bit disk support. Added out DVD ROM file system support. Added GPT disk label support to the kernel and to the disk manager program. Included a quantity of new icons based on contributions provided by leanc leanc at mail.run, including the folder icon and all of the file browser icons for different file types. Implemented keyboard navigation of the GUI menus using Alt to activate them and the cursor and enter keys to navigate and select. Alt tab now raises the root windows window menu for keyboard navigation between open windows, in a way somewhat analogous to the way windows and other GIS do it. Created new icons for the Kelkalinda, Mines, and Snape programs, as well as for the LSDEV devices, install, and users user manager, administration programs. Added load to file class support for the ability to recognize GIF and PNG images, zip, GZIP, and their archives, and PDF and HTML documents. Also added file browser icons for PDF, HTML and archive files. Designed and implemented a new proprietary font file format that enables sparsely mapped, but matte fonts. Added a font util utility program for editing and managing the new format. New splash image for the 0.7x series. 
new default background pattern wallpaper image, and three additional, full-sized ones. Redesign the band JSON, Infocon, and Kuristikon images. Change the visual effect which clicking on, or dragging icons. Instead of reverse video cursor, the icons now tint yellow. Additionally, when dragging icons, the icon image now appears instead of a box outline. Change the way icon text is drawn, so that it no longer has a solid box behind it, but instead has a little drop shadow. Icon components are now optionally focusable, enabling keyboard navigation of, for example, the desktop icons, or the icons in the shutdown program, implemented image alpha channels and blending, with support for resizing. Added support for reading monochrome Windows but Mac BMP images. Added support for some new non, minus 4, 3 aspect graphics modes. Implemented horizontal window scroll bars. Added a divider window component, for placing simple little lines in a window. Useful for separating sections of components. Window components can now be created with a flag to suppress the use of scroll bars. Improve the iDriver so that it can detect and operate multiple controllers, correctly use PCI slash O port remains, and PCI interrupts, as well as adding improved support for things like backwards compatible set of disks slash controllers. Added initial, very basic detection of Eki set of controllers operating in native Eki mode and their disks. We implemented the kernel API interface. It now supports variable sized arguments and return values, and does checking on argument types and values. For example, user versus kernel pointers, null values, etc. We implemented the kernel's file stream SOAP system for character-based file I slash O as a simple buffered mechanism with a file pointer, instead of using the kernel's streams. Added an I slash O ready state to the multitasker, so that process is waiting for, for example, disk I slash O can go into a waiting state and be awoken as soon as possible when the I slash O arrives, rather than polling for interrupts as they had been doing previously. The idle thread now loops through the process list, looking for any i-slash-o ready processes and yields its time slice when it finds one. The scheduler gives such processes high priority. Added more efficient power management, idling the processor during spare cycles. Move common keyboard functionality out of the drivers and into the abstraction layer, with an interface for handling of specific keyboard special events such as PRTSCN or CTRL or DEL. Added basic internationalization library support Libintel, modeled on the new GEGS system. Added 32-bit CRC calculation to the kernel. Added RAM disk support, courtesy of contributions from Davide Arakhi, davide.arakhi.gmail.com. Implemented lazy FPU context saving. The context is only saved or restored if a different process tries to use it. Added new keyboard mappings French, Belgian, and Spanish. Keyboard mappings are now stored in files, rather than had coded in the kernel. The Keymap Keyboard Mapping program has been enhanced to facilitate the editing and saving of new keymaps. In addition, the file browser will now use it to open keymap files when they're clicked. Added a new configuration file slash system slash config slash mount dot kenf containing variables for specifying mount points of file systems like Unix FSTAB and whether or not to auto mount them. The mounted computer programs use the file as well as the kernels at a mounting, and there is also a new file as this program in the administration window for editing it. Added some extra error checking in the file system detection code. The fact boot sector now copies the partition table entry pointed to by the SI register, so that it is in a known slash safe location for passing off and turn to the OS loader. Added right click context menus to the disk icons in the computer browser. The menu currently contains browse, mount as, Unmount and properties choices. The computer browser now shows the file system label, if applicable, in its eye context. When a wallpaper image is chosen, it is now automatically resized to fit to the client area of the window. When displaying an image, the view program now scales large images down by default so that they use no more than two thirds of the screen. The view program now has a right click context menu to zoom in and out on images, or show them actual size. The Desprops Display Settings program has been reorganized and now shows a thumbnail preview of the selected background wallpaper image. Added an option to the window field dialog to show image file thumbnail previews. The input program now has run as the default selection instead of install, added locking to the kernel stream functions. Added kernel logging of the OS loader's hardware info structure. Added a model string field to the kernel and user disk structures. Window components now receive mouse enter slash exit events. Window components can now have custom mouse pointers, as Windows do. 
added mouse pointers that indicate window resizing, and they are now switched to automatically when passing over window borders. New default desktop color that goes better with the splash image, the window shell now uses the foreground color for the root window menu, instead of the desktop color this way there's a contrast. The foreground, background, and desktop colors are no longer specified exclusively in the kernel's configuration file. They are still there as default values for boot time, but additional color settings are specified in the window configuration file, and those overwrite the kernel ones when they're available. Added window now a thumb image, and window thumb image update, functions to the window library. These can be used to create a thumbnail sized window image object from an image file name. Added a curl file get full path. Function user space for the jet full path that will return the full path plus name of a file referenced by a file structure. The curl font load, user space font load function will now search the system's font directory slash system slash fonts for a font file, so it's not necessary to pass a complete pethnum. Removed slash system slash mount directory, as it wasn't being used. The curl file find, user space file find function now accepts a null file structure pointer, for instances in which the caller is really only interested in whether the file exists. The window field dialog window library code now interprets a non-empty file name argument as a value to show by default in the file name field. Additionally, the file name field no longer shows the fully qualified names of files, just the short names. Added a window number dialog to the user space window library for requesting the user to enter a number value and providing a graphical slider which for setting the value with the mouse. The boot menu installer program boot menu now checks for previous installations and remembers the old entries. The input program now checks for the presence of the install program before querying about whether to install. The icon program now skips any entry whose icon is missing. Reduced the padding values of the text area in the LSDEV devices, program. Also fixed it so that it doesn't scroll down and then back up again while it's visible. The kernel configuration reader slash writer functions have been augmented with get slash said slash unsaid convenience functions for quickly getting or changing individual configuration values from files. Removed the title bar from the clock program. The window command window program has been renamed CMDWIN changed the runtime program name of the FDISK program from Visopsys Disk Manager to just Disk Manager, implemented proper stack backtraces for help with debugging, walks the stack frame, uses the process symbol table, etc. Used by the exception handler and by calling kernels to trace. Added a kernel debug hex dot words, function for doing simple hex dumps of dot word oriented memory such as stacks. Added a stack debugging output function kernel debug stack. Added a hex dump command for examining the contents of binary files. Added a details button to the kernel error dialog window, which brings up a dialog showing process debugging info in the stack trace. Added a kernel relock, function like the C library realloc. Added a generic kernel image copy, function which is exported to user space as image copy. The window canvas component now resizes itself properly, using the image resizing function. Added a kernel debug binary function for doing simple binary dumps. Added the FNO stack protector argument to make a file dot include so we can link using GCC January 4, 2003 Ubuntu 710, etc. Added tests for since and cosine calculation to the test program and make both do double calculations and some random ones also. Added an fals function to the C library. Added a get and function to the C library. Added DBL to STR and FLT to STR. C library functions for converting doubles and floats to strings, respectively, and aided percent F formats specify a support to the XPNDFMT function used by the print family of functions, added an FLS, C library function and fixed up FFS, added a kernel API function curl file set size, a drivers at blocks, file resistant driver function for the backend, and FTRUNCATE, and truncate, C library functions for the front end, added a sleep, C library function. Added a strtok. C library function. Added and exported a kernel API function random bytes. For filling a buffer with random data. Exported the kernel window component and focus. Function via the kernel API. Added a kernel debug error. Macro that reports errors only when debugging is turned on on. Replaces several locally defined debug error. Macros in drivers, etc. Added a new label field to the kernel's generic logical disk file system structure. The file system drivers fill it in, where applicable. Added mouse support for scroll wheels. 
window event streams are now just plan kernel streams with wrapper functions that read or write only complete events the way they were originally intended to be. The mines game map now stays on the screen after the game, so you can have a look at it. Fixed the cos, kesf, sin, and simf functions so that they work periodically that is, for larger radiance values that are greater than pi. 2. Exported the kernel put you get physical function to use as base programs as put you get physical. The multitask can now use a system timer mode 3, added a c slash sa8.h include file to include definitions of commonly used character codes. Fix the OS loader could hang during disk detection divide by zero error if the bus get drive parameters function returns success despite there being no such drive. Fix the PS slash 2 mouse driver has been worked to deal properly with mouse interrupts from various types of mouse hardware. Fixed clicking outside of a context menu could fail to erase the menu if there were no other focusable components. Fixed after a window layout, the mouse pointer was not being properly redrawn. Fixed resizing any window to a larger size in a vertical direction caused the window threat to generate a divide by zero exception. Fixed the C library's name function didn't work correctly for items in the root directory. Fixed the C library's freed and FWRITE functions were returning negative error codes as return values. They now return a size t of the number of items read slash written and any error is a no no. Fixed the C library's strcnp and strncnp functions were not dealing gracefully with null pointers and the strncnp function was returning non-standard result codes. Fix the kernel's curl file stream read function was overwriting properly sized buffers by one byte, causing buffer overflows. Fixed opening an existing file stream in read slash write mode using foppen, or curl file stream open, would cause the kernel to see to the end of the file for writing, but begin reading at the beginning of the last file block. Now all opens begin at offset not unless they write only. Fix the fact file system driver no longer sets the size of the file to a multiple of the block cluster size on every write. Only if the number of blocks changed. Fix the access mode flags in mist.h were not bitwise exclusive. Fixed open.c did not handle access mode flags correctly and was returning error rather than minus one on error. Fix before multitasking was enabled, printing debug messages could crash because it printed the current process name without checking to see whether there is a current process. Fixed when a window mixed area was being detroyed, it was not resetting the text input and output streams of the process in the multitasker. Fixed intensive floating point operations, for example, when displaying JPEGs or resizing the images, could cause a system crash. The exception entry and exit macros were incorrect. Fixed the XP and DFMT code used for print style format strings was initializing a double type unnecessarily, causing any attempt to print things inside the FPU exception handler to blow up. Fix the sliders of the color chooses for instance in the display settings program were backwards in the sense that they should decrease to the left and increase to the right, intuitively. Fixed clicking on a file name with embedded spaces failed to open the file in the file browser, because it wasn't quoting the name. Fix the kernel window layout. Function now properly lays out and resizes the window, particularly if it's already been laid out previously. Fixed a bug with mixing types in the synth and kesf functions could cause floating point operations to get into an endless loop of device not available exceptions. Fixed booting was failing on virtual PC. The PC does not properly support the IA-32 architecture's nested task concept. The multitask no longer uses interrupt returns and nested tasks, all task switches are done with far calls. Mouse and keyboard still don't work properly in VPC. Fixed text console error messages about not being able to find mouse pointer images. Fixed the CDRON program was crashing with a page fault during device scanning. Fixed a kernel error message was showing in the console log when there was no boot splash image LR partition logic and the initialization code was trying to free the unallocated memory. Fixed the parrot hidden diagram in the disk manager was showing extra border lines when clicked that didn't appear until moused over and made strange looking by the phantom redrawing of invisible mini items at the same theoretical coordinates that caused them to be discontiguous. The spec class image component was unhelpfully drawing its border when focused. Fixed detecting USB mice and keyboards at boot time could fail and prevent other devices such as PS slash 2 mice and keyboards from working properly. Fixed when using the disprops program to enable that clock on the desktop, clicking OK after checking the box caused a page fault.
Fixed when closing the console window open from the command line, the following error message appeared. Error console kernel window container dot C, remove 401. No such component in container, fix the set data. Function of the kernel window text area component was inserting a null one byte past the end of the supply data buffer. Fixed opening the edit program when running from a read-only file system produced the following error in the window. Error edit curl file dot C curl file get temp 3304 file system is read only, fixed when running the edit program from a read only file system, specifying a non-existent file would close the program without any message. Fix the window text field widget now scrolls properly horizontally. Fixed recurs at copying of a directory into another directory using the CP, our command did not create the destination top level directory, but instead merely copied the contents of the source directory. Fixed added a null parameter check to the strlen c library function. Fixed the multitask has created a new process. No longer crashes when the caller passes a null parameter in the if array. Fixed the native installer program created an unvotable installation when using a FAT32 file system type. Fixed a disk cache in bug where in the cache app room. Function could be called in the middle of a multipart cache read or write operation. Fixed a null parameter kernel API call in the Kel calendar program. Fixed a page fault exception that could occur when starting the file browse file browser program. Fixed a bug in the C library move function could cause a page fault when called to move not bytes. Fixed in the generic C library malloc code, there was a bug that was causing partially allocated blocks to not be split correctly. Also added a consistency checking function. Fixed the edit program was creating temporary files that weren't being deleted on exit. Fixed a number of components were creating error messages and or crashing when certain files such as mouse pointer images and icons aren't present. Fixed when using a FAT12 file system, writing any FAT sector after the first one was causing two sectors to be written, resulting in a write of the last FAT sector overwriting the first root directory sector. Fixed the kernel configured. Function could overrun its line buffer if the line was longer than 255 bytes. Fix the fact file system driver was under calculating the correct size for the free cluster but map in the case where the data clusters were not a multiple of 8. Fix the sorted compiler and script errors when working with the source on the new Ubuntu 10.10 system. Fixed passing an empty string to the curl file system mount. Command was resulting in the new file system being mounted over top of the current directory. Fix the window each and initialize and now error checks for null image data. Version 0.69, September 24, 2007. Overview 4 months in the making, this is a maintenance release, comprising the final round of tweaks and bug fixes to the 0.6x series of Visopsis, featuring lots of work on the USB SERP system including support for USB mice slash keyboards and hubs, tuning of the FAT file system driver. Usability fixes for various user programs, and loads of OS kernel and C. Library improvements and bug fixes. Lots of improvements to the USB SERP system, the OCA controller driver, and the ASP SCSI disk driver. Added support for USB mice and keyboards, implemented a driver for USB hubs. Extensive tuning of the FAT file system driver, and the scanning of the FAT at mount time is much faster. Also fixed a small fragmentation bug, and turned a bunch of extraneous error messages into debug messages. The FAT file system driver no longer stores the entire FAT in memory. Added basic hardware detection for open HLASP controllers so that they're at least indicated correctly at boot time. Improved checks for removable CD, floppy, flash, etc. Media changes, invalidating the disk cache when the media changes. The file browse program now shows the name of the current directory, and remembers any selection from the parent directory so that it's still selected if the user goes back up. Rewrote much of the PS slash 2 mouse driver, primarily to deal with out-of-sync situations that could cause the mouse pointer to jump around. Re-added the Legit program to the basic installation, without it there's no Legit option in the shutdown menu. Added a linked list implementation to the kernel for generic management of lists of pointers. Replace BZERO. Calls in the kernel with kernel clear calls. Updated the kernel's exception handler so that it will print exception address slash symbol information even if multitasking isn't yet enabled. Added an option to the format program for specifying the volume name label. Added a kernel debug hex function for doing simple hex dumps. 
renamed the Kernel Keyboard Driver to the Kern Epps 2 Keyboard Driver and the Kern Epps 2 Mouse Driver to the Kern Epps 2 Mouse Driver, got rid of the Kernel Memory Release System. Function, the regular Kernel Memory Release, function can now handle releasing system memory plugs. The print and family percent x format specifiers now print only unsigned values. Fix the disk manager show partitions with the starting and ending cylinders determined from information in the partition table. This could be inconsistent particularly in the case where geometry is a guest, with the geometry of the disk as seen by the kernel. Fixed using the disk manager with a hot plugged USB disk cause a divide by zero exception because the geometry values were zeros. The kernel SCSI disk driver now determines slash guesses of geometry, and the disk manager now ensures that the values are non-zero. Fixed using the configuration editor to open a config file with no predefined variables resulted in a window with no list component. Fixed the text editor couldn't create a new file. Fixed the file browse program could crash when you're using the Dell key to delete files. Fixed an occasional problem with ejecting a tar CD-ROM, etc. devices in the kernel light driver code. Fixed spurious interrupts could cause the kernel pit get active, function call to hang in the driver. Fixed command line option processing for the format and RM commands. Fixed calling the component said visible function didn't work for containers. Fixed USB card enable port messages. Fixed error messages were being double printed on the screen when console logging was in effect. Fixed the USBooker driver was not returning the number of bytes transferred for transactions with the data phase. Fixed some window ops were generating error messages because they were trying to malloc not byte when the root window contained no components. Fixed the XPNDFMT function was causing an exception when printing pointers in hex using the percent %p format specifier. Fixed the XPNDFMT function was causing a divide by zero fault when printing guides in the disk manager. Fix the kernel disk get media state, function wasn't locking the disk before accessing the disk structure. Version 0.68, May 10th 2007, overview this is a maintenance release, with a focus on disk i slash o, performance fix the kernel's disk cache, and a diet look ahead and, write caching, secure deletion shredding of files slash partitions slash disks, and bug fixes, including important changes to the OS log resulting in more reliable booting on more systems. We implemented the kernel's disk caching. Previously, performance was generally bad but could be horrendous under heavy i slash o, as well as evidence that it was buggy and could occasionally cause data corruption. Added read caching look ahead and write caching ability to the i disk driver. Write caching necessitated a flush disk driver function to be called from the higher level sync function. In the disk manager, turned off software disk caching when doing a disk copy operation. Vastly improves i slash o throughput for faster copies. Implemented new A20 address line code in the Vloader OS loader for successful booting on more systems. New A20 enabling methods include a BIS call and a write to port 92H. Implemented secure deletion of disk data with a kernel disk array sectors. Function that does passes of overwriting the raw disk sectors. Added an arrays operation to the disk manager to enable this for partitions and whole disks. Implemented secure deletion for files, which does passes of overwriting the file data. Added a command line option to the RM command to invoke it. Reorganized some of the malloc code and added debugging output. Added logic to the malloc code use both the kernel and user programs for delocation heap memory when it is no longer being used, rather than keeping it all indefinitely. Each block now keeps a record of its allocation, and when the whole allocation is unused it is freed. Updated some partition tag descriptions in the kernel disk code will show up primarily in the disk manager. Added an R option to the CP program for recursive directory copying. Added regular write protect checking to the floppy driver, so that by the time a file system is mounted we should already know if we can't write to it. The kernel device for system memory now contains an attribute with the memory size. Viewable from the LSDEV devices program. Remove the kernel disk sync disk. Function, made kernel disk sync, a call for specific disks, and aided a kernel disk sync all, function for syncing all the disks. Add a kernel disk get stats, function for getting disk performance data, and aid that info to the program manager's display. Added a set of software flags to the disk and kernel disk structures to indicate changeable things like media state, door state, read only, sync flag, etc. 
The previous flags fields was really an indication of the hardware type, so it was changed to a type field. Added a kernel disk set flags function to allow changing user settable values in the new flags field, and aided a disk flag and a cache flag to disable the software cache for the disk. Added the optional argument option support to the getopt C library function. Added a file ops test to the test program. Added a basic disk I slash O test to the test program. Removed the redundant VSHCOPY file function from the VSH library. Fixed the floppy disk version was too full, crashed during boot when it subsequently couldn't write lock files, etc. And otherwise spew too many error messages. Fixed when an IDE disk had a small multi-sector value like 16, reading large files could fail with an error message about too many PRD entries. Fixed in the disk manager when NTFS resizing failed, for example with the unclean journal message control didn't return, it just hung. Fixed with large IDE disks on some systems, the kernel seemed to be getting 28-bit limited geometry and size values from the BIS. The I driver replaces BIS values with ones from the device slash controller wherever the BIS values make more sense. Fixed doing a full VISOPSIS install on the ATMB partition after choosing to format as FAT16 could totally crash slash hang the system. Fixed the mouse was leaving traces at the right must and bottom must edges of the screen one pixel width. Fixed the curl file copy function now allocates memory for its copy buffer using kernel memory get rather than kernel malloc. Fix most of the file system data allocated in the fact file system driver was not delocated, simply discarded. Fix the curl file copy recursive function caused a page fault when it encountered an empty directory. Fix though the disk manager's move partition and copy disk slash petit and progress indicators would show the correct time, but the percentage could overflow. Going back to a smaller number and then climbing again. Version 0.67 April 3, 2007 Overview This is a maintenance release, including a number of bug fixes, and the addition of new capabilities to the iDisk driver including PCI, DMA, and 48-bit addressing support. A significant re-engineering of the disk manager program to modularize it for new disk label types, plus support for moving logical partitions and creating preceding logical partitions. Added PCI, DMA, and 48-bit addressing support to the iDisk driver. Did some touch-ups and corrections to the Visop CSIO code in the Lipnfs library. Implemented the ability to move logical partitions in the disk manager. Implemented the ability to create preceding logical partitions in the disk manager. Modularized the disk manager so that it will be better suited for working with different types of disk labels. Added a debug ear category to the kernel debug.c functions. Added etux and LLTOUX pseudo C library functions for printing unsigned hexadecimal strings. Commands specified for many items in the desktop configuration file are now checked to make sure they exist. Corrected the percent %p specifier print and family format strings so that it is printed as an unsigned value. Cleaned up new compilation warnings generated by GCC January 4, 2001. Fixed lines of only white specin configuration files used by the kernel configuration reader slash writer functions halted processing. Fix launching a new window failed to reset the global focused component until the mouse was moved. Fixed when a process was killed, the text input stream's echo attribute was not being reset. Fixed the fact file system drivers get unused clusters function was not properly returning an error if no free clusters were found. Fixed in the disk manager, using the cursor keys in the disk list or partition list did not change the selection. Fix the kernel's quite generation routine could hang because it was using an uninitialized lock structure. Fixed when creating a new logical partition in between two others, the disk manager didn't set the disk order correctly. Fixed I disk driver now properly checks for sector number overflow. Previously it could fail to detect attempts at 28-bit addressing, causing overflow at the 130 GB mark. Fixed a bug in the LSDEV program printing devices when the number of attributes was less than 2. Fixed the progress dialog didn't lay out properly when resized, and also fixed the layout of a few dialogs and windows viz. Resizing. The disk manages progress dialogs that show time remaining no longer zero pad the values, and specify the time in XR's X minutes format. Version 0.66, February 1st 2007. Overview This is a maintenance release, featuring the ability to resize, windows vista partitions, more reliable loading on various systems.
better exception handling, color text in graphics mode, improvements to the C library, and a number of bug fixes. Ported NTFS PROGS 1, 1, 3, 1, including NTFS RESI ZD 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, so that the disk manager can successfully resize Windows Vista NTFS partitions. Modified the Vloader OS loader so that it only uses in 15 to move data into high memory. Improves reliability of loading on more systems. The exception handler is now a separate task for proper debugging and better reliability in case of stack corruption, etc. Implemented proper color text output in both text and graphics modes. The boot sector code was further groomed and streamlined, though the work highlighted a bug in the grub bootloader that will always prevent chain loading via CPCs from the second hard disk. The MBR boot menu code no longer has the number of sectors to load that coded into it. It now reads a track's worth. Also changed some of the memory locations used, since there might have been conflicts there. Improved the disk manager's confirmation slash warning message before resizing the partition. When the progress dialogs cancel button is disabled, the mouse cursor shows busy. In the disk manager, progress indicator more accurately represents the actual times of the different stages of an NTFS resize. In the disk manager, the resetting dollars lock fill portion of an NTFS resize shows progress indication. The kernel now accepts relative path names to file related API functions. Removed all the absolute path hand waving from programs, libs, etc. Implemented the family of SCANF, C library functions, including FSCANF, SSCANF, VFSCANF, VSCANF, and VSSCANF. Added the C library functions num 2 str monks, and str 2 num Removed the custom eta, eto, etob, etox, lltoa, lltob, lltox, alpha, uto, and xti functions and made them all macros in stdlib.h, using the three new functions, above. Added radar path, and strnlen, C library functions. Added the C library functions base num and their name, and removed the kernel API function files up there at last, removed the custom C library functions div64, did 3 mod 3 did 3 and mod 3 We now use the lib versions. Made the progress data structure 64-bit, and changed the text mode version to show initial 0% values and messages as opposed to only when the first change occurs. The GUI menu bar component is no longer a container. It now has a container, so that it can also have state information about which menu is visible. Previously, raising a right-click menu in the disk manager could cause the corresponding menu bar title to draw itself raised when it shouldn't. It is now possible to focus the root window without it going over top of the other windows, obviously. Fixed Fact 32 bug in which the Vloader OS loader was looking for the wrong terminating cluster number. Fixed when a window was bigger than a screen dimensions, moving the left side of it off the screen, then moving the mouse around the right side of the window caused mouse traces and perhaps a GUI crash. Fixed dragging the input window off the left side of the screen caused a system crash. Fixed when a list component is disabled, the list items no longer appear grayed out. Fixed if the icon program can't find the icon, it will try to use the standard executable one instead of the generic visopsis one. Fixed the Econwin program could still show an icon for a program that wasn't available. Also changed the config file format so that a list of icon names is not required to be specified before the individual specs. Fixed in text mode, the more command could leave its reverse characters on the last line if you are scrolling with any other key than space. Fixed printing a legitimately escape format sequence such as preg and preg and d and user space using printf and friends didn't work, as the kernel's print routines would try to format their input again. Fixed the C library memism function was comparing one too many bytes. Fixed when the text was a different color such as an error and the screen scrolled, the cursor could remain the color of the previous line. Fixed when booting from a CD there was an error message. Error kernel process curl file dot C file creates 614. File as a stem is read only. Fixed broken CD ROM emulation was not recognized on some systems. Version 0.65 December 18, 2006. Overview This is a maintenance release, with particular focus on the Disk Manager program, the USB SOAP system, and the GUI. The Disk Manager can now copy and paste partitions, cancel partition move operations, format user specified fact SOAP types, and has more user friendly partition type selection. 
re-engineered the kernel's USB SERP system and took a host controller driver and re-enabled basic USB support by default. Implemented the window mouse pointers, so that applications can set them appropriately according to whatever they're doing without affecting anything else. The disk manager can now copy and paste partitions on the same disk or disk to disk. The disk manager's move partition operation now allows the user to press the cancel button as long as no data from the original partition location has yet been overridden. Formatting fact file systems using the install or disk manager programs now allows the user to specify a fact file system to so default FAT12, FAT16, FAT32. The disk manager's list types and set type dialogs now display their partition types in a clickable list box selection. The user no longer has to type a hex code to set the type. Added the ability to do FPU state saves and restores with help from www.arachia.gmail.com and grecrecstato2.place. Added a global window manager variable list. Added mouse enter and mouse exit events for windows. Added FOPEN, FCLOSE, and STRCASCSTR, C library functions. Created a proper test suite harness program. Initial tests implemented a for text output, port I slash O protection, floating point, and some GUI operations. Code improvements to the implementation of window component levels. The generic window component now has some container functions built in, such as layout, and comps, flatten, and set buffer, so that all composite components that contain others can have their subcomponents participate in various actions. The processing of window events no longer tries to determine the precise component the event happened to, instead events are now cascaded down through any slash all applicable containers, components, subcomponents, etc. Added than SEMP function to window components so that they can specify whether they want some subcomponent to receive a particular event, otherwise it goes to the component itself by default. Added a little remove from container, line function for removing components from their parent container. The floppy disk driver now does better memory management of its list of disks, devices, driver data, etc. Fixed divide by zero fault in the kernel's random number code caused by any call to the rand. See library function. Fix the cat and more commands were crashy. Fixed closing the command window program could occasionally cause system crashes. Fixed booting could fail system crash when the fat root file system was nearly full. Fixed debug in the disk manager's format. Function was preventing it from offering the choice non clobber. Fixed creating logical partitions in the disk manager could cause page fault exceptions when writing the changes. Fixed formatting a too large disk as fat 12 caused a divide by zero fault. Fixed clicking on a context menu item that didn't fall within the bounds of its parent window had no effect. Fixed when resizing the disk manager window, the partition diagram didn't completely redraw its entire width. Fixed when the display settings program was used to set the global colors, there were some window components whose colors were changing incorrectly including icons, lists, and many items slash list items. Fixed when changing a variable in the configuration editor, clicking OK caused remnants of the selected item to be erroneously drawn at the top of the window. Version 0.64, October 25, 2006. Overview This is a maintenance release, with extensive code grooming and bug fixes. There has been a particular focus on the GUI code, kernel debugging, the kernel API, GCC 4x warnings, and compiler optimization problems. Use of visible features include the addition of right-click context menus and support for 32-bit bitmaps and icons. Booting now works under the box 2.3 emulator failed in graphics mode under earlier versions. Implemented right-click context menus. Added support for 32-bit BMP bitmap images and echo icons, the disk manager's canvas now responds to keyboard cursor inputs. Did general, large-scale GUI re-engineering. Fixed compilation errors under GCC 4x, added some API debugging, moved the syscall line function into a syscall.c file to avoid problems with GCC optimization function lining. Dialog windows no longer appear in the window shell's window list. Multitasking slash scheduling changes separated out the scheduler's code for choosing the next program to run into a sprutine, corrected the big comma that describes the scheduling algorithm, fixed a bug that might have resulted in a null pointed reference, made it so the exception handler is never interrupted by another process, and aided a kernel processing exception variable that exports the exception number being processed. 
implemented a generic kernel debugging functionality that can be compiled unconditionally, and that can filter messages by categories. For example, there is a category for GUI debugging and a category for USB debugging, as well as filtering by source file. Disabled USB support for now, since it's broken and can cause some boots to hang. The window border component only ever drew when it was called to draw the top border, since it could only draw the entire border. Now the draw gradient border function can draw individual lines of a border and the border component draws the parts individually. Did some cleanup of the bloater OS loader code, added a function to redraw all the windows, and another one that resets all of the non-custom colors of all the windows components. Setting the colors in the display settings program uses this to change all of the window colors immediately. Added more debugging info to errors in the malloc code. Added a user space flag for components that aren't focusable by default. Subsequently, canvas components are no longer focusable by default. Creating window menus is now done more simply by passing a structure with the list of menu items, then calling the get selected function to find out which one was clicked. Also implemented the more useful get data function, which returns the object key of the selected item. Implemented a window slider component to wrap the scroll bar component, so that it can be focusable and accept keyboard input. And adapted the window library color chooser dialog to use it. Window canvas components now show a visual change when they are focused. GUI menu components now have their own graphic buffers, so that regardless of what window they come from they can stay on top, extend outside the window, etc. The install.sh script now copies any slash boot info or slash grphmode files into the CD-ROM boot floppy images. The install slash imaging scripts no longer redirect useful error output to slash def slash null, they now redirect to temporary log files, check exit codes, and direct the user to the log files if applicable. The window manager code now has more efficient memory management, so that it isn't allocating memory for the entire array of possible window structures at initialization time. Created a top-level makeafile.include file for all the code makeafiles, added some more warning flags to it, and fixed the resulting warnings. Make GCC optimization args minus 00, minus 02, etc. A global makeafile variable, the edged key type is now a volatile void. Make data structures throughout properly self-referential instead of using void. Pointers and removal of the unnecessary casting, for, hopefully fewer coding errors. Fix that loader OS loader was being written to the second free cluster by the Fedora VF80 driver when not using FAT32. Made a hack to adjust it when installing from Fedora, and generally streamlined the copy boot program. Fixed a slide bug in the FAT code in that it relied too strictly on the Microsoft definition of FAT type detection. Now it takes into account a couple of extra hints. Fix the view program wasn't showing tab characters properly in text files. Fix the VSH shell would crash if the user entered a line containing only wide space. Fix a bug in the copy area function of the frame buffer graphic driver in that it wasn't checking to see whether the areas were outside the buffer. Version 0.63, August 15, 2006. Overview This is a maintenance and bug fix release, with numerous small tweaks throughout the entire system. New features include the ability to format and resize Linux swap partitions, more reliable OS loading, more detailed CPU detection, and a simple text editor. Added formatting and resizing support for Linux swap partitions. Added a basic, simple text editor currently only works in graphics mode. The OS loader now does improved memory moves to high memory for better reliability on more systems. Added improved CPU detection to the kernel system driver. Added the beginnings of a 32-bit BIOS driver. The file list widget and the file dialog have been worked so that they don't use a separate GUI thread, since that was unreliable and crashy. GUI applications can now enable click-driven cursor movements in text areas. Remove the hard limit on the maximum number of window components. The kernel now records and uses a network domain name, both via DHCP and via the kernel's config file. There are now kernel functions to get and set the Houston domain names, as well as Unix-style command line functions. Added a kernel system info function, similar to the Unix unmessy school. Added a variable list of text string attributes to all hardware device structures. The window component parameter structure now has a flags field to be used for all Boolean values. Added get width and get height functions for fonts. Text screen saving and restoring now uses callers supplied pointers instead of storing a single instance in kernel memory. 
added a text API function to enable or disable screen scrolling. Window resize events now go into the Windows event stream so that applications can catch them. The scroll bar slider now has a minimum size so that it's clickable even when there's lots of data to scroll through. The maker file variables for $CC, etc. are now settable from the top level maker file. The LTD program was really more like an NM program, so it was renamed. Fixed PS slash 2 mouse driver synchronization problems on some systems. Fixed the disk managers said type menu item was failing to bring up that dialog. Fixed after resizing a file or system, the disk manager no longer shows the warning card write partition table backup in read-only mode if booted from a CD, for example. This just scared people. Fixed when entering the file or system, resizing value in the disk manager's text mode, it didn't allow you to append C or emphasize in cylinders or megabytes. Fixed the disk manager no longer continually pesters users about incorrect CHS values in partition entries. One no answer now turns it off. Fix the fact file system driver now ensures that items it's processing, when it's constructing short file names or writing directories, belong to its own file system as opposed to mount points for other file systems, for example. Fixed if the input program's config files contained commands with arguments, the icons weren't shown because the program didn't separate off the arguments and therefore couldn't locate the commands. Fixed using the view program to view a really small or really large image caused GUI crashing this. Version 0.62, April 25th, 2006. Overview This is a maintenance release. Some new features include basic USB controller support, a USB mass storage driver, device hot plugging, key new support, loading of RL encoded bitmaps, a program's icon, and Minesweep and Snake games. Implemented basic USB support for OCA controllers. Implemented a SCSI driver that can support USB mass storage devices. Added basic hot plugging support for devices. Added support in the image functions for loading RL encoded bitmaps. Added a program's icon. Added Minesweep parent Snake games. Added an icon for board out ladders loves calendar program. Implemented a proper kernel's top level infrastructure for use by the PCI driver, USB driver, etc. The display devices and text console drivers are now initialized separately and before other hardware, so that hardware detection messages can be shown while detection is going on. The computer program now continuously scans for new disks. The shutdown command now has a command line flag for bayoting, and the shutdown and boot commands now have command line flags for ejecting the boot media, if applicable. The ICANWIN and file browse programs now change the mouse pointer when they're busy loading up a file or program. The ICANWIN program now continues silently when programs or icons specified in the config file are missing. The boot menu now has a default selection and timeout period settable by the boot menu program. There is now an active menu global window system variable so that the focused menu can always be on top and always go away when it loses focus. Fixed booting failed on Kimi due to a PS slash 2 mouse driver hang. Fixed the boot menu program failed to run from a read-only media. Fixed the boot menu timer was counting down too quickly. Fixed the install program failed if a directory it wanted to create already existed. Fix the defrac program was giving card defrac file system type unknown messages for things like floppies that hadn't been mounted. Fix the kernel dish get media state function was returning naught for flash disks. Version naught point six one January twenty seventh two thousand six overview this is a maintenance release. Some new features include disk manager support for resizing NTFS file systems and arbitrary partitions. Purely unprivileged user space processes, I slash O port permissions and protection, I block mode I slash O, Linux swap detection and clobber. Improved atomic kernel locks, many C library additions, and a calendar program, in addition to assorted bug fixes. The disk manager can now resize Windows XP NTFS partitions as a result of porting Linux NTFS PROGS NTFS resizing code. The disk manager will now allow partition only, resizing regardless of the file system type with appropriate warnings. All user space programs now run in unprivileged CPU mode, regardless of actual privilege level, and I slash O privilege maps have been implemented by Darby Dalaki. Improved I slash O to hard disk driver performance by implementing block mode I slash O. Added basic stop NTFS file system support detection and clobber. Added basic stop Linux swap file system support detection and clobber. 
The kernel's locking code now implements real atomic locking. Added board out ladders loves calendar program. All threads now use the same page directory control data as their process parents for better synchronization. Process stacks now have guard pages at the top which are privileged, so that user process stack overflows cause protection faults. The C library now has a proper suite of malloc functionality taken from the kernel's implementation, which is now used by the kernel instead so it can be used for user space without code duplication. Added a kernel memory block info function to return information about an allocated memory block. Useful for the realloc lipc function. Added a kernel disk function for rescanning the partitions of a single disk. Added a lock to the progress data structure. Implemented confirmation capability in the progress structure and the Lipsch and Li window progress bar slash dialog functions. Add a kernel file system function for getting statistics about a file system, whether it's mounted or not, or indeed, properly supported or not. Added a kernel file system function for getting resizing constraints. Added a kernel file system function for requesting specific detection of file system type useful for removable media and such. The text mode installer now offers to let you partition first. The text mode disk manager now show the operation slash commands in two columns. Added a window library radio dialog for presenting choices in a radio button format. The disk manager's move partition and copy disk functions now use as standard progress dialogs and showtime estimates. The kernel logging thread now has a lock on the log, so that the lock doesn't get garbled by different processes logging at the same time. The OS loader's screen output is now saved in a file slash system slash log, so that it can be examined afterwards. Remove the source code from the ISO distribution. Printf style C library functions now support left justification. Format specifiers. Added C library functions LLTOA, LLTOB, LLTOX, and ALFO to support long format specifiers and arguments. Added C library functions MBSTOWCS, MBTOWC, and WCTOMB for widely character support. Added C library functions FFLUSH, FFS, FGETS, Realloc, STRDUP, Strera, VFPRINTF, VPRINTF, VSNPRINTF, and VSPRINTF. Added C library functions for 64-bit divisions such as div64, div3, mod3, etc. Enabled the C library functions such as FGETPRS, FREED, FSETPRS, FFLUSH, FGETS, FTELL, FPRINTF, FSEEK, and FWRITE, as applicable, to behave correctly when the file stream is STDIN, STDOET, or STDERR. Added C library header files endian.h, stdint.h, and c slash cdfs.h. Fixed after formatting FAC32, Linux and older Windows installers would show the file system as 100% full. Fixed errors with write slash etter hard disks as secondary masters. Fixed unformatting clock bring a partition in the disk manager didn't seem to convince the kernel to undetect the previous file system until boot. Fixed the graphical if config program wasn't updating the device text after starting slash stopping networking. Fixed the wallpaper program was not properly shutting down its window thread. Fixed the input program failed to exit after calling the logging program. Fixed there was a harmless error message when running the LDD program against an executable program because it always tried to load the file as a library. Version 0.6, November 30th, 2006. Overview this release introduces a host of new functionality, including a cleaned up desktop with icons for browsing the computer, file systems, and administrative tasks, fat defragmenting, elf dynamic linking, a built-in chain bootloader and simple MBR formatting, file browsing, widgets and dialogues, Windows Eco icon file support, a generic file, viewing program, Italian keyboard support, new icons and a new splash screen. Added a computer icon, equivalent to the one in Linux on my computer in Windows. It shows the different disks, auto mounts them if applicable, when clicked, and launches a file browser. Added a file browser icon. Added an administration icon, which brings up a window for various other programs that were previously on the default desktop. The view program is now a more generic program for default viewing of various sorts of files. Added defragmenting capability to the FAT file system driver implemented shared libraries and dynamically linked executables.
All included libraries and programs are now dynamic. Implemented a simple, chain loading MBR boot menu for loading from different partitions and operating systems. The boot menu program lets the user edit the menu strings and set parameters. Also accessible from the disk manager. Note that this will not load any Linux installation that uses an iNitrid. Implemented simple MBR code, so that, for example, the disk manager can be used to rescue a system from a deleted or corrupt grub installation. Added Windows EK icon file format support and converted many existing icons to that format. Created file browsing widget slash dialogs. There is a new splash screen image and a number of new icons. Text areas now use white background and blue text as the default colors. Added Davidera at his Italian keyboard mapping. Some preliminary networking support has been added, but for the moment, it is disabled by default. The only network device driver provided is for the LAN and PC net card, which can be simulated under VMWARE. In the administration window, there is now a network icon that proves access to a simple network devices program which, for now, just shows devices, status, settings, dynamic via DHCP address, etc. There is also a pin command. The new exception handler prints out more diagnostic information exception type, and more. There is now a VSH library function for a text mode progress bar. The format program now shows a progress bar in text mode. The disk manager will refuse outright, or warn slash confirm before moving, formatting, or deleting mounted partitions. The disk's command now shows mount points. Created a Nikonwin program that uses config files to create custom windows with icons, and user specified actions associated with them. Added a slash credits.txt file for listing others contributions. There is now a slash system slash mouse slash directory for mouse pointer images, a slash system slash config slash directory for ken files of all programs in the kernel, a slash system slash mount directory for automatic mounting, and a slash system slash wallpaper directory for background images. Created a progress dialog window library feature that utilizes the progress structure and shows a progress bar and status messages. The exception handler is no longer a standalone task. In order to do FPU state save slash restores without setting the CR nor TS bit, handles exceptions generated when a process attempts to do floating point operations after a task switch. The file system structure is now contained within the logical disk structure. The user space disk object now indicates whether a partition is mounted, and if so, the mount point. Exported a portion of the kernel device structure as a new device structure, and created API functions to export the hardware device tree. Atomized some of the ASM macros in kernel processor x86H so that they can be reused in other more complex macros, added floor of, sin, cos, and tan functions to the CLIB. Added support for %b format specifiers in the xpndfmt.c functions by adding another bogus C library routine etub. File changes changed kernel misc functions to kernel misc. And the kernel patch manager and kernel memory manager have had the manager bit taken out of their file slash function names. Added window library functions to clear an event handler and to get the window threat PID, implemented a progress data structure that can be passed to, for example, long file system operations such as format, check, resize. The matter free functionality of the paging code no longer, by default, allocates the first page in the address space. This makes it easier to detect slash guide against null pointed references. Got rid of the disk tip and DTP nums from the various disk structures, and instead use a set of logical flags to describe disks. Remove the deprecated window pick, and windows packed, API functions. Fixed in the disk manager, cancelling a new partition creation at the label type stage caused two changes to show as pending. Fixed the disk manager's partition reordering menu didn't display changes properly in text mode. It worked but the changes weren't reflected in the menu. Fix the lost plus found directory created by the extension to formatting code was not readable when we mounted the file system. Also, the permissions are now set to the same values as Linux MKE2FS. Fixed using the GCC version April 3, 2002 and Lord version 2.15.92.0.2 combo. Doracore 3 generated programs had a new, unexpected number 3 of elf program header entries. Fixed selecting partition slash list types in the disk manager could crash the program. Fixed the program manager was associating some child threads with the wrong parents in the process list. Version 058. Overview this is a maintenance and bug fix release. 
Some new features include support for extension to file system formatting, German keyboard layouts, my globally unique identifier generation, and file system clobber. Also includes a number of important bug fixes to the disk manager program. Implemented extension to formatting. Added Jonas ZX German keyboard layout, added quite generating capability to the kernel. File system drivers that support format functionality now also support clock of functions, so that, for example, when a format is done, the file system doesn't still get detected as the previous type. The file system's code now has a proper array of all the different file system drivers that can be iterated through, for example, when doing file system detection. Implemented a multi-choice dialog that shows buttons with user-specified text strings and returns the index of the specified choice. Fixed in the disk manager, when creating partitions, it wasn't possible to create logical partitions. When choosing primary, no primary slash logical attribute was shown. Fixed the EXT file system code would fail to mount small file systems with only a single block group, where the number of blocks was less than the maximum blocks per group. Fixed in the graphics mode disk manager, after specifying start and end values for a new partition, pressing cancel in the tag type dialog didn't stop the partition from being created. Fixed the disk manager's move function check for empty space on either side of a partition could produce a false error. Fixed the disk manager was telling the kernel to reread the partitions too frivolously especially in between writing the main and extended partition tables. Fixed the VSH shells code for marshalling quoted arguments was broken. For instance, touch for bar created two files, for and bar. Fix the lip time. Function is producing dates off slow by one year. Version 057. Overview This is a maintenance and bug fix release. There are various GUI touch-ups. The disk manager now updates disk geometry information in fat partitions after disk copy operations. The GUI list component has been re-implemented and a number of kernel improvements have been backported from the 0.6 development branch. When the disk manager does disk-to-disk -disk copies, it now ensures that the disk geometries stored in any FAC partitions are correct. Window lists components now have multi-column mode implemented, are now capable of showing various combinations of icons, text, or both, and they are now able to resize successfully, so that more rows can become visible and multi-column lists get extra columns. Added a window selection event that widget such as the window list, can differentiate between a pointless click or scroll bar event and a real user selection. Move command line parsing code into the kernel's loader so that it will parse a raw command line. The window text area component now has an update function that is called by the text area subcomponent to let it know when it is updated so the window component can update the scroll bar. For example, added API functions to export the hardware device tree. Exported a portion of the kernel device structure as a new device structure. A bunch of the buttons from various windows have had their fixed width parameters set. Added a delete recursive convenience file function. There is now a load to classify file version that just temporarily reads in the first few sectors of the file in order to classify it. Added a load to file classes function for generic text and binary files, and boot sectors. Added an SNPRINTFC library function. The VSHFILE list the ls command function now prints more efficiently previously made millions of print calls. Added a curl file count function to the file functions, so that it's easy to pre-allocate memory for file entries, etc. The window build threat library function now returns the PID of the GUI threat process so that calling programs can monitor its survival. Updated the help file documentation for the program files. Fixed if the user doesn't have administrator privileges, the Disprops program now grays out the list of screen resolutions, because the kernel won't allow it to be changed. Also, the API functions to get slash said the window manager colors have been made into user privilege functions. Fixed after user authentication failed, the logging program stopped responding. Fixed the icon layout in the kernel window shell was allowing the text of the bottommost icon to wrap off the screen. Fixed the console text area's scroll bar was not being added to windows when the rest of the text area was added. Thus the scroll bar did not appear. Fixed the wallpaper program failed to set the wallpaper if the file name supplied in the file dialog was an absolute path. Fixed the window list item code had an error in which it undercalculated the length of the text string. Version 056. Overview This is a maintenance and bug fix release. Important bug fixes include the elimination of boot hands due to faulty mouse initialization, 
and full kernel variable lists affixed to the detection of secondary hard disks and affixed to faulty mounting of ext two-thirds file systems. In addition, important multitask or improvements related to process initialization have been backported from the 0.6 development branch. Fix the system could fail to boot in graphics mode due to faulty mouse initialization. Fix the kernel symbol variable list was becoming full and causing various boot initializations to fail. The kernel's variable is at code has been changed so that it automatically manages list memory. Fixed ID or target sector not found messages during boot when a second slave, for example, hard disk was present. Fixed extension 2 mounting had become generally broken, backported the 0.6 branch multitask changes to do with press image structures and argument passing. The exception handler process now displays a dialog box when a program crashes, so that they don't simply disappear requiring the user to look at the console output for the reason. Added a system to generate the program's help file text from comments within the source code, so that it's easier to keep up to date. Fixed when a mount attempt failed, it was possible to end up with a rogue slash entry added to the root directory, which could render the whole directory tree useless until boot. Genericize the image loading functions so that they first identify the format, then call the appropriate routines to interpret it. Fixed when calling kernel window destroy. With a window that had user containers, there were a number of container data as null error messages. The kernel error code no longer prints the current process name if the error occurs inside an interrupt handler. It prints the interrupt handler number instead. Any window components that contain other components now remove them from the parent container, if applicable. Window mixed area and window title bar, for example. Fixed after choosing the destination disk in the install program, there was an error message from kernel memory manager C838. The memory pointer is not mapped. The elf loader code now marks executable code pages as read-only, elf headers are now processed more correctly side effect, eliminating various messages about unexpected number of elf headers. Change the FAT, EXT, and ISO file system drivers to take more advantage of packed structures for better efficiency. Fix the format program was inadvertently ignoring the T file system type option. Fixed if the default background color was not used, the text area widget scroll bar would use the background color rather than the normal gray. One exported the file system functions in the FAT, ISO, and EXT drivers. The input program now shows the OS version in the title. Version 055. Overview This is a maintenance and bug fix release, with some additional capabilities including installation support for all FAT file systems primitive PCI driver support, and a better organized device driver infrastructure. In addition, GUI window layout and resizing has been re-implemented and generally fixed. The system can now install to and boot from any kind of FAT file system, FAT12, FAT16, and FAT32 VFAT. Fixed window layout when windows are sized. Implemented a better organized hardware device tree and a new, more generic device driver interface. Added a basic PCI bus driver, the initial implementation of which was provided by Jonas Zedak. Only logs a bus device scan, for the moment. Implemented a basic signal in the infrastructure, which initially fixes the problem of CTRLC crashing the system in text mode. Backported a number of changes and improvements from the 0.6 branch to the kernel's displayer. Added a debug window layout function that displays the layout grid alongside the components makes it much easier to do program window design and to debug the kernel's layout code. The window manager's event handler threat now dynamically allocates the memory it uses for storing event hooks. Implemented the swap lip function. Useful for networking. The page manager's get physical address function has been modified so that it works with addresses that aren't page aligned. The interrupt controller functions now have a function that returns the active interrupt number and synchronize the kernel's hardware interrupt number codes with the normal PC interrupt numbers for instance, NORDEF. Fixed interrupts are now disabled during the pause before boot, so that, for example, the kernel is not still processing i slash o interrupts and such. Fixed a number of small issues with the kernel window stream code. Fixed in the install program, installing on a freshly inserted floppy could produce the error message can't install a boot sector for file system type unknown fixed when installing from a basic install there was a spurious error message resulting from attempting to look for the full install file version 054 overview this is a maintenance release with numerous small improvements
and bug fixes including some general backporting from the Nort.6 development branch. In addition, iDisk to disk operations have been improved so that they can happen in parallel. The kernel hardware drivers interrupt. Handling has been given a new interface, and there is some improved efficiency in the performance critical section of the multitasker. Updated the iDisk controller locking so that each now have their own locks. Thus I slash O can be done in parallel between disks on different controllers. Backported large numbers small changes and improvements from the Nort.6 development branch. Cleaned up the kernel interrupt code, got rid of all the default handlers, added an interface for getting slash hooking the vectors, and changed all the built-in drivers to use the interface. All interrupts are now initially masked off, and the hardware driver code for each kind of device has to turn them on after hooking the handler. The bootable floppy image for the ISO distribution now contains only the OS loader and the kernel, because only these are used. This shrinks the zipped ISO image size. The calculation of CPU percentage in a multitask scheduler is now done more efficiently inside the loop that evaluates the process queue. Added text save screen and restore screen functions for use by programs such as FDISK and install which clear the screen. Added convenience functions to the kernel as a code for working with arbitrary password files, so that, for example, the installer can set up the destination password file without doing it all manually. Added kernel dish get, single logical or physical, kernel dish get all, and kernel dish get all physical, functions. The kernel's page manager now includes a method for setting flags on pages such as writable, present, cache disable, etc., and a function that allows memory to be mapped at a particular address. Created a user space process image structure that can describe details such as memory page mapping, virtual addresses, entry points, arguments, and so on. Kernel error.h now contains the include for cs slash errors.h. Fix copying a big file such as an ISO image could fail because the copy code tried to allocate enough memory for the whole file. Now it allocates as much as possible and does multiple reads slash writes. Fixed typing and using the mouse at the same time was causing funny things to go on. The interrupt handlers for the two devices needed to be better synchronized. Fixed when dragging an icon, one pixel width of the icon title wasn't being erased properly. Fixed the fact 12 boot sector source code shipped with version 053 didn't work for floppy disks. Fixed in the lipx xpndfmt.c function used by printf, sprintf, etc. The nine digits function was returning the wrong value for large signed numbers, resulting in double width numbers for format strings such as percent %08x. Fixed the graphics mode text driver was not recognizing longest lines if the cursor had been moved around using the text set row function. Fixed doing a second kernel make without changing anything resulted in an empty kernel in bulls.txt file since the previous make stripped the kernel. Version 053. Overview this is a maintenance release with numerous small improvements and bug fixes. A number of unnecessary files and programs have been removed. Re-engineered the kernel's file handling code so that it uses less stack memory, has less code redundancy, and exports different functions to the rest of the kernel than it does to user space. The format operation causes the kernel to re-scan the partitions so that the new file system type is recorded in the disk structure. The program manager now shows overall memory usage totals. The mem command now prints totals in blue bytes and uses a structure from the kernel and UAPI function describing the memory blocks rather than the kernel printing out the information directly. Subsequently, deprecated the kernel memory print usage function. The shutdown program now attempts to eject the CD-ROM a second time if required since it seems that some drives will fail on the first attempt but succeed on the second. The fact boot sectors no longer rely on the disk geometry they get from the disk BPB block. They get it from the biz instead. Remove the move command there's already a MV command. Removed a large number of unimplemented lip function files. Move the lip global data into CRT Nord C, the boot sectors slash OS load to that capture key presses press any key. Now use the biz in 16 each function instead of trapping the hardware interrupt. Deprecated the kernel disk read write absolute functions. Instead, the normal kernel disk read write functions are now able to figure out whether the supply disk name is physical or logical. The lipsh functions no longer call Pero. They still set O and then leave Pero up to the caller. Added the W and WSHADOW options to make a files. 
added ffrestangi to make your files to ensure that the compiler isn't including built-in functions we're not expecting. Got rid of the unsigned in terminology everywhere and replaced it with simple unsigned, fixed the disk manager with showing one MB total size for all disks, fixed in the disk managers, create partition function, if you supplied bat start slash end values, the logical slash primary choice would be disabled when the dialog box came back. Fixed when copying a file, if the destination was a directory rather than a fully specified file name, there was a curl file delete error message, fixed when the VSHCURSOR menu scrolled the screen, it looked funny. Fixed ls an unknown file, hang. Version 052. Overview this is a maintenance and bug fix release, with some additional features, such as improved disk to disk copies and partition table, reordering in the disk manager, and additional C library functions. Implemented threaded, double buffer disk I.O. for the copy disk functionality of the disk manager. The disk manager's slice list now indicates the disk name and file system type if available, and it is now possible to change the partition table ordering, that is, changing drive names slash letters. The VSH history is bigger, and there is now a history command. Added open, LSEEK, read, write, close, FPRINTF, freed, FWRITE, and stat, C library functions. The kernel error messages now indicate the name of the process that caused the error. The disks command now reports the file system type, if known, and not just the partition label. Exported the kernel multitask process as a live function. The VSH and LS commands have been updated to improve their stack slash data memory usages. The kernel configuration writer has been worked so that if the file already exists, it writes the new one to a temp location first, then moves the new one over top. Fixed up the maker files a bit and we now make sure that we're building with the correct CPU specified. Fixed up Erno implementation in the C library. Fixed the disk manager copy disk failure was leaving the dialog box on the screen. Fixed the format command could hang when doing a large FAT32 file system. Fixed the RMDIR functionality was broken because the and entries were not being removed correctly. Fixed in the disk managers, create partition function, specifying a megabyte size value overflow to 4096 M. Fixed the window list component has been changed to stop implementing its own idea of container and use the standard container component. Fixed deleting the old menu list items in kernel window shell update list was causing crashes. It was disabled in the 0.5 release and it was a pretty serious memory leak. Fixed the mend command failed when a following slash was after the mount point name. Version 051. Overview this is a maintenance and bug fix release, with some additional features, such as the disk manager's ability to fix small partition table. Consistency errors. Enhance the bootstrap code so that it is possible to boot on some tricky hardware platforms, such as Toshiba laptops. The disk manager now offers to fix errors turned up by the partition table check. The disk threat now responds when it is killed, thanks Thomas Raidner. The install program now show a progress meter in text mode while copying files. When the shutdown program is attempting to eject the disk, it now shows a banner dialog since sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. In the text area code, when the screen is cleared, the existing screen contents are no longer rolled back into the buffer, they are discarded. Deprecated the window pick, and windows packed, API functions. While attempting builds with GCC version April 3, 2002, fixed a number of bugs and details that the newer compiler found. Fixed the program manager wasn't really putting threads under their correct process parents. It merely put them in order as received from the kernel. Fixed the getopt. Library function was being used incorrectly by a number of the user applications. Fixed it was possible to kill the exception handler thread, which caused an immediate triple fault. Thanks Thomas Raidner. Fix broken CD-ROM floppy disk emulations no longer trick the loader into detecting the existent floppies. Fixed on some hardware, the kernel's hardware detection could be tricked into detecting the existent fixed disks with null geometry. Fixed the megabyte value being printed for hard disks by the loader was severely wrong. Version 0.5. Overview this release adds logical partition capabilities to both the kernel and the disk manager which has been substantially rewritten. Window minimizing, a GUI taskbar for managing windows, new icons and cleaner desktop layout, a program manager application, and a temporary file interface, as well as lots of bug fixes and smaller tweaks.
added support for hard disk logical partitions, added a taskbar menu to the top of the root window, added minimize functionality to Windows, make a program manager program that allows a user to manage running processes, etc. Enlarged the disk manager window and its canvas, and aided a more action buttons. Added a show info action to the disk manager. Implemented the ability to hide partitions in the disk manager. The disk manager now includes an option for writing a fresh partition table to a disk. The disk manager now allows the disk to be specified as a command line argument. The disk manager now has a better GUI interface for creating a new partition. Implemented a temporary file interface, the install program now shows which installed disk is selected when in graphics mode. Made a new shell icon for the command window, added icons for the program manager and configuration editor, and removed the legit and shutdown icons from the desktop. Programs that can run in both graphics and text mode such as the disk manager and the installer now have a standard T argument that causes them to run in text mode. Added a Lipsch cursor menu. Converted input, FTISK, etc to use it. Added the ability to have command lines in the install files, created a Lipsch function for parsing a command line into command and arcs, suitable for passing to the loader load and exc function. Added a user space process structure, and converted the ps command to use it. The date slash time printing library functions have been cleaned up and fixed so that they don't print superfluous spaces, restored the ownership attributes of input streams, and restored the ctrlc functionality. Moved the disk directory out of the test area and into the top level directory, added strchr and strrchrc library functions, added a kernel stream destroy function to complement kernel stream new. Attempting to mount a CD will now close the tray before the attempt, if it's open. Removed the icons equals line from window manager.kenv. The window shell will now figure out a list of icons dynamically based on which ones are actually specified in the file. The format now has two additional modes a graphical mode and a non-interactive silent mode. Re implemented the ability to get a screenshot from a key press. The instant screenshot is triggered by print SCR and key and multiple shots can be taken this way without overwriting one another. The VSH prompt is no longer the whole directory path, just the current directory name. The window checks widget now ignores the user specified foreground color for the X, since we always use white for the background behind it, and if the foreground was white, no X would be visible. The graphical shutdown program now offers an eject CD-ROM checks when booted from CD-ROM, since otherwise the door stays locked and getting the CD out during the beers post can be tricky. CTRL old Dell now does a proper shutdown, so that the discs are seen before betting. Removed the exception handler's core dump code, since it wasn't all that useful without tracing slash debugging facilities. Clicking outside of all of the Windows components now removes the focus from any focused component. Fixed the CDRON program's help page claimed that it will attempt to guess the name of the devices not specified, but that hadn't been implemented. It always picked the first CDROM. Fixed the Atalpi driver was not reliably ejecting CDROMs. Fix the window manager screenshot code was crashy, fix the display settings program show clock on the desktop thing was very crashy. Fix the curl file stream close, function now destroys the stream. Previously it didn't do so and was a memory leak. Fix the installation program now calculates the required space more accurately, and verifies adequate disk space before starting the installation. Fixed extra second floppy disks were showing up where they didn't exist. Fixed the disk manager's formatting functionality was crashy. Fixed in graphics mode, the disk manager's action buttons were not being laid out properly. Fixed in graphics mode, the disk name argument of the disk manager didn't properly select the disk in the disk list. Fixed the kernel logger was inserting random characters into the locked 512 byte boundaries. Fixed the return value of the library memism function. If comparison failed on the first byte, it was returning success naught. Fixed partition magic was complaining about the disk manager's CHS values being incorrect. In particular it wasn't liking our maxed out head and sector values when a partition started or ended at a cylinder. 1024. Fixed when creating new partitions in the disk manager, partition magic was showing multiple ones as active. Fixed dragging an icon was executing the program as if the icon was simply clicked. Fixed seeking slash writing to the end of a file stream was broken. Fixed typing during a graphics mode screen scroll left stray cursors on the screen and could cause crashes. Fixed when snapping the icons in the root window, the window layout was being redone too many times once for every icon that moved. 
Fixed the menu bar component was ignoring any user specified font. Fixed window title bar menus are no longer drawn if there are no items in them. Fixed the window canvas component was generating a kernel memory release message about a pointer not being mapped. Fixed causing the console text area to scroll while it wasn't visible caused a triple fault. Fixed the status messages in the graphical install program were wrapping off the window. Fixed if a CD-ROM was a master with a slave, that CD-ROM was not detected. If the slave was also a CD-ROM, neither was detected. Fixed the system was unable to boot from the second CD-ROM device. Fixed running the install program with a disk name argument was not working. Version 042. Overview this is primarily a bug fix release, with some added features, including the ability to format partitions from the disk manager, plus vertical scroll bars on text areas and visual re-implementation of grayed out window components. Enabled file system formatting functionality in the disk manager. Implemented vertical scroll bars and extended buffers on window text area components improved the graying out functionality in the window manager. It didn't look great with the default colors and looked positively silly with some other color schemes. We implemented the hidden functionality of window text areas so that the buffer contains the real content and the visible area contains the asterisks. The get data function returns the data from the buffer. The window manager now makes more use of the busy mouse pointer, restored window list locking, now that interrupt handlers don't need access. Created a new logo for the splash image, in the disk manager, there is now a confirmation dialog before moving partitions, added a get disk by file function. The disk structures now contain a set of flags to indicate which file system functions are available from the appropriate driver, if applicable. Move the window event processing out of the execution path of interrupt handlers and into the window manager thread, added new and destroy functions for current elixed areas, moved icons and fonts into subdirectories under slash system, added a way to specify whether a loadable font should be fixed width, removed instances of BZV articles in the kernel. We have a much better kernel clear function. Added a strncacncpc library function, simplified the management of curl file system structures in the file system code. The graphics code main, frame buffer driver, and window manager and friends now uses ints instead of unsigns for widths and heights, moved the font argument from some window components into the component parameters structure, fixed setting the widest item in a GUI menu to not enabled cause a bit of the menu border to get grayed out as well. Fixed state changes in the disk manager's disk and partition lists caused by key events were not being handled properly. Fixed in the user manager, when adding a new user, if the user already existed the program would still prompt for a password. Fixed in 16-bit video mode, window titles were not displaying proper transparency. Fixed the size slash drawing of the items in list components was slightly off. Fixed if fonts or icons are missing, there's a panic. Fixed the text mode console driver was not scrolling properly when printing long lines. The next line would overwrite the wrapped part of the previous one. Version 041. Overview this is primarily a bug fix release, with some added features, including the ability to move partitions, a configuration editor, and a key map editor. There are also a number of small tweaks to graphical components and GUI user settings. The disk manager can now move partitions in contiguous space that is, it can slide them from side to side. Created a configuration editor for editing configuration files, created a key map editor for choosing keyboard layout. In the disk manager, clicking on the colored slice in the canvas area now selects the partition, added a color chooser window library dialog box, the window shell thread now loads programs automatically based on things specified in the window manager config file. Added a pretty XTERM font modified from the XTERM program under Linux. Made it possible to set the default foreground, background, and desktop colors for all graphics operations in the kernel.conf file. Added a show clock on desktop checks to the display properties app with an accompanying clock app. Implemented right and middle mouse click events. The radio button GUI widget will now accept focus and allow keyboard control. In the disk manager, when a new partition is created, it is now selected afterward. When copying disks in the disk manager, added a better prompt dialog to ask which disk to copy to, with a clickable list instead of a typing prompt, and it doesn't prompt about which disk to copy to if there's only one other choice, make the scroll bar GUI widget available from user space, calling said selected with GUI list widgets now scrolls the list if necessary so that the selected one is visible.
The window manager no longer saves its config file at shutdown, added a cancel button to the copy disk dialog of the disk manager, mouse dragging events now filter down to the user space via the event stream. Added a kill by name function to the multitasker. Added a focus routine to the menu widget, so that when the menu will disappear itself if it loses the focus, made a more friendly error message for the help command when there is not a help file for the topic. Fixed in 15-bit graphics modes, the colors were all wrong. Fixed the window list component was not responding very accurately to movements of the vertical slider. The slider was picking up both up and down mouse clicks, and dragging wasn't all that perfect either. Fixed it was possible to resize a window down to nothing or less than nothing. Fixed the mouse pointer was leaving traces when dragging or resizing windows, or dragging icons. Fixed compilation failed on SUS 9, with GCC March 3rd 2003 and more importantly, whatever new lord comes with it. Fixed it wasn't possible to hide the GUI component if they had the focus. Fixed the format command stopped accepting an own disk name argument. Fixed the frame buffer graphic driver was not drawing any part of outlined rectangles if part of the rectangle was off the screen. Fixed resizing list components was not resizing the subcomponent list items. Fixed multiple buttons inside a container component were not picking up window events. Fixed the aerial bold 10 fonts equals equals sign was a plus. Fixed pressing CTRL or deleting graphics mode produced a panic with can't yield. In interrupt handler, version 0.4. Overview this release features a number of graphical interface improvements, including several new GUI widgets and new usability tweaks. The install and disk manager programs have been properly GUI enabled, and this release also adds user authentication with MD5 password encryption. Implemented the following GUI widgets. Checks, radio button, menu bar plus menu, and menu item, progress bar, canvas, scroll bar, list plus list item, and password field, implementing container components which can be nested arbitrarily, and have their layout done individually. Added a top level container component to the window structure and removed the simple list of components. When running from a CD-ROM or other read-only file system, there is now a general warning that the user can't modify settings or change anything generally. The OS loader now gives the kernel a list of supported graphics resolutions slash depths that are supported, and there is user preference for choosing the mode, which the OS loader now reads from a file. Improved the hardware structure in the OS loader so that it makes use of NASM struct directive, added text mode password prompting code to the VSH library, exported locking and variable list functionality to user space. The configuration reader slash writer code is more sophisticated, so that it preserves comment lines if replacing an existing config file. Updated the install image generation scripts, and fixed the naming of the generated images, created a new background image that isn't so busy. Removed the old ones. The start program loaded by the kernel is now specified dynamically in a file, and aided an image boot program to be loaded first when booting from an ISO or floppy image distribution that will prompt the user whether they want to install or simply run from that image. In the VSH, you no longer need to put a space between the last command argument and any ampersand, implemented Bresnan's lines and circles algorithms in a frame buffer graphic driver. Both the native installer and the Unix installation scripts now use file lists and include options to do a basic versus full install. The fat file system driver no longer calculates the file system free space asynchronously. Previously, this meant that an application could not know how long to wait before it could begin writing to a freshly mounted file system. Graphicized both the install and disk manager programs, after copying a larger disk to a smaller one in the disk manager, we now go through the entries in the partition table and adjust them so that none have illegal values. That means, for example, deleting or truncating partitions that don't fit on the smaller disk. Added a cursor and effect to the text mode disk manager, since it makes the flow better not required to type partition numbers, etc. And which means that a partition or empty space is always selected, which fits better with the graphics mode use model. The disk manager program now saves disk-specific backup MBRS in the slash system slash boot directory. The window manager threat now checks that Windows processes are still alive, so that it doesn't require a mouse click to dispose of the window. Also, if the window manager threat dies it is now restarted. Visor Blue is now the default foreground color for most GUI components rather than black.
removed the start window and replaced it with a simple splash image, changed remaining CSH scripts to SH and removed the unused stuff from the slash to slash SRCMGMT directory, rearranges the source code directory structure and build system a little bit, so that there is a top level build directory which contains all the installable stuff in the correct places. This allowed the installer to be a lot simpler and facilitated the implementation of installation file lists. Implemented a getup library function and converted the contents of the program's directory to use it. Added a window shell thread which is the new user logging process in graphics mode and which handles events on components in the root window. Added delete user functionality to both the kernel ISO code and the user manager program. Added a password command that shows as a user manager in the GUI that can be used to change passwords and create slash delete accounts. Separated the source files for the different libraries into subdirectories and broke out the Lipsch and Li window code into separate source files to reduce executable sizes. Added a file selection dialog box into the window lib. Font printing by default draws the background color under the character. Transparent images are still an option. Added a flags field to the kernel window structure, since there were a few booleans and it's a waste of space to make them all ints. The sh file completion now works like bash when there's only one real item in a directory, completed with just a tab. Made it possible to clip between multiple text areas in window, added user authentication to the logging program, improved handling of width specifiers for print number parameters. Added an MD5 encryption implementation, a command is no longer added to the VSH history if it's the same as the previous one, the keyboard code now reads the light status at start so that it doesn't reset the main properly. Also, memlog works. Implemented enable slash disable functionality for GUI components. Implemented a set visible function for components, implemented set disabled functionality for window menu items, added resizable X and resizable Y fields in the component parameter structure, and only resize components appropriately, simplified the process of adding components to windows, so that you only have to call the new function with the component parameters, and it will be added to the window automatically. Removed the size parameters from the button component constructor, implemented the get data and set data methods of text label components, so that the label contents can be dynamic. Added a window component flag that will prevent a tap from unfocusing certain components. Removed the coordinate and size parameters from the new window function of the window manager. The window size is determined automatically unless the set size function is called. Window layout happens automatically. The programmer no longer has to do this explicitly. Added resizing capability to the windows in the window manager. Window buttons are now focusable and can handle various keyboard events. Implemented proper focusing of window components. Added a function for getting the contents of a text field or text area component in the window manager. The window close button no longer uses the little X image file, but rather draws its own X using the new Bresenum line drawing abilities. Changed the shutdown program so that in graphics mode it prompts for a boot or shutdown, added a better install icon. Added a GPL banner to the image boot program, disabled the left-right cursor keys in the VSH, as they tend to make people think they can do line editing which they can't, yet. Fixed if the screen dimensions are too small to accommodate a window, it doesn't appear at all. Fixed pressing CTRL or delete in graphics mode produces a panic with can't yield. In interrupt handler, fixed the screenshot program was crashing when attempting to write to read only file systems. Fixed if the floppy was removed while the bootloader was loading the kernel, it was going into long literary loops. Fixed file input streams were horribly broken in the ISO 9660 file system driver. Before the fix they would only read the first sector. Fixed ev0 was not being said by the loader code. It was only being set explicitly by the VSH when programs are executed, which it shouldn't do at all. Fixed the arrangement of icons in the root window so that they wrap into the next column when they hit the bottom of the screen. Fixed there was trouble triple fold drawing outline non-filled, rectangles in the frame buffer graphic driver, if they were partially off the edges of the screen. Fixed the elf loader was not allocating enough memory for the uninitialized data that executables might require. Fixed the free spaces calculation in the disk manager was incorrect, particularly when there was only one partition that didn't start at zero. Fixed component cannot focus error messages when clicking on icon components. Fixed when booting from the hard disk, the opening of the kernel log file often failed with a not enough space message. Fixed in text mode, the logging process was not properly setting supervisor privilege for the admin user. Fixed when windows were dragged, the focus was lost from the focused component. 
Fix text fields were coming up with their cursors on by default. Fix the kernel.log file was not being updated slash written correctly. Fix the fill that routine was not behaving as expected when writing a single block file. The file size was zero, even though the file was written and closed properly. Fixed when writing a file using the file stream functions, there was a new one inserted at the beginning of a file. Version 033. Overview This is primarily a bug fix release, with Beautable CD-ROM support added as a new feature. Added Beautable ISO 9660L to reach CD-ROM support. The no boot boot sector code no longer boots the system, but instead properly calls the next boot option. Fixed spurious error messages when booting from a read-only file system. Fix the kernel heap allocation code, which was losing and corrupting blocks of memory, and leaving small, odd-sized gaps of unused memory. Polished up the scripts for creating floppy and CD-ROM images, fixed no longer attempt to recalibrate Atapi disks. If a CD-ROM read fails, because there is no disk, the driver no longer leaves the number of sectors at zero, since that will stop all subsequent read attempts, the CD-ROM driver code can determine more elegantly whether there is a data CD in the drive and if not, print a friendly error message. Version 032. Overview This is primarily a bug fix release, with CD-ROM and ISO 9660. File system support added as new alpha features. Added multi-session capable CD-ROM driver code, fixed the date command day of the week was wrong. Created a set of help text files for all of the commands, in a, slash programs slash helpful subdirectory. The help command is now an executable, which can provide command specific help. The VSH shell now has a C option so that it can be used to execute, commands, non-interactively. Added a system visor CC library function, added a driver data field in the physical disk object, so that the different drivers can store device specific data there. Implemented the floppy drivers detect and register device routines to remove some of the floppy specific stuff from the hardware detection code. The mounted mint commands will now accept relative path names, added an ISO 9660 file system driver, eliminated spurious floppy timeout error messages when booting from hard. Disks. Fixed unknown floppy drive types were causing hardware detection and, therefore the whole start to fail. Version 031. Overview This is primarily a bug fix release, with extension to file system support, added as a new alpha feature. Implemented a preliminary, alpha, read-only extension to file system driver, the libraries and non-kernel include files have been relicensed under. The new LGPL to permit use by proprietary programs, the it slash eta slash driver was not responding to disks on the secondary controller. Fix the cat program wasn't printing taps properly the way the more program does. Fixed kernel malloc allocations were not necessarily being done on any boundaries. It is now done on size of unsigned dot boundaries. Added a very basic fine program which only traverses whole directory trees. Initially to aid in development of new file systems. Version 0.3. Overview This release is very much an under the hood release. The user interaction is similar to that of 0.2, but a great deal of work has gone into improving the structure, performance, and stability of the underlying code, particularly the disk soap system. However, some eye candy has been added, and the GUI is more functional and consistent. A thread of a process can now kill the parent process. Created a multi-task attach function for demons or other programs to use to detach themselves from any programs that might be blocking on them. Fixed Windows wasn't entirely happy with our fact short file name aliases. Complained about the format of the short name of slash system slash boot slash boots dot fog number changed the naming of the kernel window components removed t component boot from the names. Fixed file completions were completing things they shouldn't. That is when CD system. LSB tab it completed background but there's a boot directory as well. The window manager thread is now the logging process for a user when in graphics mode rather than the text shell running in a console window. Reduce the stack sizes of processes. They shouldn't need nearly as much 260k as they were being given. Removed all the binary distribution stuff the Java installer, shell scripts, read mess, etc. We will only do binary distributions as Floppy or ISO images from now on. The console window is no longer shown by default. Added a program and 
ICOM console to display it and handle the window events, etc. Added, external API functions to put a console widget into a user program. Change the error reporting interface for the disk drivers. Removed, the last error message and last error code functions, these were, leftovers from the days of ASM drivers that couldn't use the normal error, reporting mechanisms. Fixed the mouse was not being redrawn when windows closed themselves. Implemented levels for GUI components within a window, in the same, manner as windows have levels. This way if components overlap, we can, only send window events to the uppermost one. Sped up the scrolling of graphics text areas. Now only scroll as much of, the width of the area as the longest line of contents. Fixed up the frame buffer graphic driver a little bit more so that it draws, most efficiently for the bit depth it's using. Implemented kernel versions of malloc, and free, so that we're not always, wasting whole pages of memory for small things. Added shutdown and boot buttons to the login screen in graphics mode. Implemented text labels on kernel window button components, with selectable, font. Fixed window layout problems. Attempting to add boot and shutdown, buttons to the login screen, I discovered that setting the components, grid width parameters to 2 causes a crash. In addition, when I incorrectly, left the grid width at 1 and attempted to add the 2 buttons below using 2, grid places they were erroneously placed on the line above, and the, other widgets got squashed together. Added an event notification callback mechanism for user programs that, use the GUI. When a user performs a GUI action, such as clicking a, button, the user application can now read that event from the component. As a supplement to this, implemented user mode library code for monitoring window component event queues. It includes a GUI run function that signals the application is ready to begin monitoring its widgets for events after all its setup is done. The rest of the flow can be driven by callbacks from events. All of the included programs have been converted to use these features. Added a legged procedure for the window manager rather than having to log out by hand from the console window. Implemented a better kernel panic routine that displays something Useful in either text or graphics mode and shuts things down quickly. Interrupt handlers and their actions are no longer allowed to yield, wait, block, etc. Fix moving the mouse in text mode is disrupting keyboard input. The FDISK program will save a backup copy of the MBR before item changes, and provides an option to restore it. The graphics slash text console drivers, as well as the fact file system driver, have abstracted driver registration procedures like the hardware drivers do. The API calls in kernel rp.c are now hashed according to their function, number, for faster API throughput. Added a routine to the generic disk code for reading the disks, partition tables instead of in the hardware enumeration code. It is, be recalable anytime so that programs like fdisk can create slash delete, partitions and have the change be reflected immediately in the list of, logical disks. Cleaned up the management of the kernel's built-in drivers. The drivers. Now have an init that registers the driver structure with the kernel, so, that the kernel driver management code doesn't have to have all the functions, hard-coded in there. Disk caches are invalidated when removable media is unmounted. The boot sector and the OS loader can now boot from a cylinder, 1024. Large disk tier trees are now correctly evaluated by the hardware detection, coding by the FDISK program. Created a non bootable fact boot sector that the formatting code uses to make non system fact volumes. When files are copied, the sizes are now being set correctly. The new floppy driver C code no longer freezes up the computer if you remove the media unexpectedly. Hardware enumeration and FDISK no longer fail when there is no partition. Table on the hard disk, fat file system root directories now have entries and entries when they're not slash. Removing the last file in the directory, for example, in the root of an file system no longer produces an error message. Fixed up the file system driver stuff, so that there is only one instance of each driver of each known type. In the fact file system driver, file names that start with were listed, but could not be created or accessed. This is fixed. Implemented fact file system driver formatting functionality improve the FDISK program so that it can do most common operations when there are no files in a directory ls no longer prints an error message when doing disk reads we now do read ahead caching the kernel is now able to handle operation from a read only or write protected media without spewing errors and getting panicky 
Curlics are now exclusive even to the same process. That is, if a process owns a lock, calling curlic get a second time fails. Added a UK English keyboard mapping, the disk code should launch as a new synchronizer threat if the existing one dies. The exception handler tries to do a stack dump when an exception occurs. The file system code is now correctly updating fact short file name aliases when files are moved. Updated the loader code that searches for a valid video mode. It now searches for any LFB video mode first and reports an error to that effect if it finds none. That is a different scenario than not finding a desired video mode. Added LFB graphic driver support for bit depths of 32, 16, and 15 BPP. Remove the fact sector caching from the fact file system driver. Change the file system synchronizer so that it is now a disk daemon that simply turns removable drives motors off. Implemented proper asynchronous disk caching. Kernel symbols to aid debugging in the slash system slash kernel symbols.txt file, which is read at start and used for stack traces and whatnot. Converted all built-in drivers from ASM to C with line ASM and a processor specific header file. This makes it easier for them to use the C, data structures, etc. For better integration with the rest of the kernel. There is no longer any MASM assembly code in the kernel. Woo. Change root user to admin user, something less icky slash nixy. The kernel disk structure is broken up into physical objects and logical disks volumes, that is, hard disk partitions, but every physical disk has at least one logical disk. The disk cache, idle since value, physical characteristics, etc. are in the physical disk. Things like starting, sector, number of sectors, etc. are in the logical disk structure. The physical disk structure contains the logical ones. Added some memory manager macros so that each memory block request doesn't require an alignment specification only where desired. Fixed RM system slash window manager dot kenf sync errors in the file system. The window icon code is better able to deal with long icon names. Previously it printed the whole name on one long line. When a user logs out of the window manager, all windows belonging to the user are destroyed. Fixed mouse driver initialization was sometimes causing the boot sequence to hang a little bit. Wiggling the mouse or pressing keys was required. To continue, the kernel log utility was losing some log messages that come early in the boot process before the root file system is mounted. Change start.oc to CRT in auto for more Unix C compatibility. Fixed when running a command window, all the shell processes suddenly start hogging CPU. With a case of two ready processes constantly yielding to one another. Change the scheduler so that a process will get a low weight if it is yielded at time slice before a little different from the previous algorithm. Version 0.2 Overview this release was a huge leap ahead from version 0.1 and it took a long time, too. This release added a basic GUI, whereas, version 0.1 was text mode only. Really, the list of changes below is very incomplete, especially in listing new features. Fixed when betting from other operating systems such as Windows or Linux, vice of CIS would triple fault. Clearing the page cache seems to do the trick. Also changed the way page caching is done. Turned off right through which improved the performance of the graphics as well. Updated the shell help text. Fixed can't move slash copy a file over top of another by the same name in a different location unless you specify the destination file name explicitly. That is, if you just specify the directory, it fails. When using the more program, pressing enter to list a new line no longer leaves the more xx% percent message on the screen when a process has finished but is waiting for its child threads to terminate that is mount any process that is blocking on that process now stops waiting fixed crashes when running the install program and other types of long disk writes when this happened under the old exception handler the handler used to go into an endless loop complaining about an exception in the idle process this was the fault of the timed event scheduler got rid of that Fixed the floppy motor was staying on all the time on many machines. Fixed the fact file system code was not properly filling all long file names. They were cut off after some number of characters. Fixed when in the multitask of the killing of a process is delayed because of child threads, the process never seems to be killed when the children have all terminated. For example, when you mount a large fact file system, 
See, the threat that reads the fact keeps the mount process alive, waiting, forever. Fixed when pushing some of the non-printable keys such as num lock, and then doing command history, the shell was backing up by one character, before completing the file name. Added support for non-fixed width fonts in the curl and functions. Added support for loading fonts. The system font looks lame on titles, and whatnot, particularly on the login screen. The logging is now a little more meaningful in graphics mode. Previously, a console window would open with a login prompt, but the user could happily start opening other command windows and such, and ignore the login, unless they wanted root permissions. Added loading support for 24-bit bitmaps. We already saved in that format. Fixed mounting of file system was not properly referencing either the file system or the disk. Couldn't mount, unmount, mount the same disk. Changed the shell to do file name completions on the same line as the current line, rather than starting on the next line. Implemented multiple text output streams, with the text input stream, changing to the active window, so that we can have multiple text windows. Open at the same time, implemented the fact file system driver checking functionality it's very primitive, but it does detect and fix some errors. Move the exception handler code into the multitasker. It really needs to interact with the multitasker quite a bit. The new exception handler thread was hanging the terminal breakable with CTRLC when the exception message happened at the bottom of the text area and caused the screen to scroll. The kernel's exception handler is now a spawn thread with its own stack, etc. So that it doesn't run as part of whatever process caused the exception in the first place. This helps to prevent the exception handler itself from crashing if things have gone seriously wrong with the process. Adding permission checking to the kernel functions that are be exported to the rest of the world. Fixed the boot progress indicator was progressing beyond the end of the indicator. The get char routine now does the work of polling slash yielding rather than the programs that call it. Added a basic FDISK program that can do things like swap the active partition on hard disks. Fixed the hard disk enumeration routine was crashing when there was more than one physical disk added the ability to copy directory trees in the file system functions. 1. Level up from the file system driver. Could be a library routine instead. Someday. Fix the CP command was crashing when copying files involving the hard disk implemented the right function in the iDisk driver. Previously it was left out since the file system driver is still imperfect. Fix mounting hard disk partitions on my 30 GB hard disk was not working. LBA versus CHS issue, fixed the mouse driver initialization sometimes hung, waiting for a response from the mouse to a command, added ELF executable capability and moved the programs to ELF format, fixed incomplete file names were still having an slash appended to them by the shell. The PS2 mouse driver and the keyboard driver now share a lock on the device, since they both deal with the same registers, etc. Fixed sometimes an error in another program could cause a fault in the idle process. Then the exception handler routines would get into an endless loop, fixed when a process created a new process, the unmapping of the new process memory from the parent process space would sometimes cause a page fault. Fixed the log file update thread has been crashing frequently, most often when another process crashed, the scheduler no longer spawns a new idle thread while the multitasker is in the process of shutting down. Fixed the date command was producing long results. The year, time, hour, minute, etc. were correct, but the month and depth were wrong. Fixed when shortening a file name, one extra character from the old file name got left on the end of the new name. This was because of STR and CPY changes. Fixed there was a little sequencing error in the kernel memory manager's share memory routine. It was delocating the memory from the sharer process before allocating it to the sharey. Simplified the default driver management. It was ridiculously overcomplicated. Fixed the fact code that lower classes short file names wasn't lowercase i the file extensions. Fixed most of the device driver initialization routines were being called twice. Once in kernel driver management dot c and once in the abstraction layer. Initialization version 0.1. Initial public release.